my name is Paul Grogan and welcome to another Gaming Rules solo playthrough. In this video I am going to be playing through the solo game of Space Corp 2025 to 2300 designed by John Butterfield and published by GMT Games. I think I've got that right. 2025 to 2300. Yeah, boxes floating on the wall behind me. Um, so I'm going to be doing a review of this later this week as well. So if you are interested in what I actually think about the game and my opinion on it, then I will put a link to the show notes uh, to my review video. But this is going to be just me playing through the solo game. Before we start, I just wanted to mention that this is not a sponsored video. Um, this is purely funded through my Patreon campaign. So thank you very much to all of my Patreon supporters for basically making these videos possible. Without your support, I'm not going to be doing this. Um, so yeah, thank you very much to all of them. And if you enjoy the videos that I make, then please consider supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Now then, on with the video. I've read through the solo rules, but I'm a little rusty on it. So if you are expecting a pure 100% accurate game with me not looking at the rule book, this is not going to be it, I'm afraid. I will do my best, uh, but I would recommend turning on cling on subtitles, cling on subtitles, because um, if I make any mistakes and people pick up on it later on from watching it, I will be adding cling on subtitles into the channel uh, for anything that I get wrong. But anyway, um, Let's, let's get on. I'm assuming you know what this game is about, but if you don't, it's about the exploration of space. It's played over three eras, and we are starting in era one. I think I've done the setup ready. I am here. I am on Earth. Uh, the idea of the game is to get as much profit as you can. We start on zero, and these are my competitors. As I say, I've not played the solo game before, so I'm not 100% sure how it all works, but I'm sure we'll work it out. Um, competition teams, your turn. So I think I go first. Um, and then after I've had a go, I think the competition gets a go. Basically, I think that's how it works. Now I've made a competition deck. So there is a competition deck, which you don't use in the normal game. Uh, and that is all ready. Uh, yeah, so uh, play alternates. Oh no, the competition takes the first turn of each era. It's a good job I checked that. Uh, the competition's turn consists of the following steps and performed in order. Right, so the competition goes first. It's not very fair, is it? Reveal the top card of the competition deck. So what you do is you reveal the top card of the deck. Oh, these are the cards that are in my hand at the start of the game. Is that right? I only start with one card? Because you don't start with any time cards uh, until you get the Starfarer's Era. They're normally used in the full game, uh, in the multiplayer game, but they're not in, not in the solo game. Not until later on anyway. So anyway, let's go to... I oh, hope you can see that on camera. Yep, right. So, competition. Reveal the top card of the deck and carry out the competition action or actions as indicated in the bottom centre of the card. So, basically, you ignore all of this bit and you just do the bit at the bottom. Uh, solar LP5. Uh, solar Lagrange point five. That's what that is. So, let's have a look what it does. Now, although they go first, this is explained later on. So, this is the discovery and contract action because it's in the middle. Um... So basically, uh, conducted in order, in the staff area zero, you only do the contract step, okay, right? So the discovery step. This step is conducted if there is at least one empty explore box on the board at a site occupied by a competition team. <clears throat> no, there isn't. Uh, so we do the contract step. This step is conducted if the contract identified in the action has not been fulfilled for the current era. No, hang on a minute, that's not... That's not the contract. Have I got this wrong? No, it is. It is the discovery. Is it? No, it's a site action. How do you know whether it's a site action? It's a site action. I guess if it's discovering contract, it'll say discovering contract. So it's a site action. Apologies for that. Um, so conduct a site action if the competition card lists a site on the current era's board, which it does. Solo Lagrange point five is here. Well, unless you or the competition already have a base there. In which case, discard it and draw another one. No, we don't. Right. If the listed site has no base, which it doesn't, locate the site's situation on the following table and complete the indicated action. So competition team not present at a Lagrange point, place a competition team. So let's use the yellow one. So there we go. There's a competition team. Uh, your teams at the site have no effect. Um, and I think that's it. So I'm not going to be referring to the rules every time, but just at the start... I'm going to be referring to them just to make sure I've got this correct. So I think that's what it does. Yeah, and I think that's it. The competition's turn. Uh, check to see if the competition fulfills one or more contracts, which it doesn't. 
So now it's my turn. Right. So on my turn, I conduct an action and then claim contract rewards and then perform a free team, trans team transport, discard card players, discard fewer. Right, okay, so it's conduct an action. Right, so it's my go. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm trying to remember how to play. Now, there's very few actions you can do at the start of the game. I could play this card onto my infrastructure slot. That would give me a move of two. Uh, or I could choose to research and get two cards. And I could take these or ones from the deck. Or I could just move. And if I move, I only have one movement point plus another one, which doesn't get me anywhere. I uh, can't explore because I'm not anywhere and I can't build. So, yeah, basically, I think I'm just going to research two. Um, so what am I going to research? Now, the cards on top of the deck are likely to be better. So I'm going to take one from the top of the deck. I'm going to leave my cards in hand here so that you can see them. Let's get rid of the stuff we don't need. Oh, my opponents today are the mice. So I'm playing against uh, the mice. They'll probably win. Right, so that's that one. Uh, now, that can't be played to infra... So I'm going to take this one as well, and that goes there, okay, that's another cargo pod. And then at the end of my turn, because I have four or fewer cards in hand, I get to draw a card, and that always comes from the deck. Yeah, not from the offers, from the deck. So that goes also into my hand, and there we go, and that is my turn done. Did I claim any contracts? No, I didn't. Uh, free team transports, discard played cards, replenish offers... Yeah, draw the... Right, okay, so turn two it is the competition. Uh, I'm going to try and take my glasses off. No, I can't see anything these days. Getting old. Right, so the competition does offers two and three. Right, let's just move those time cards out of the way because we don't need those yet. Offers two and three. What does that mean? It does? I think it means it clears cards two and three from the offers. Offers, here we go. Uh, which era cards are to be discarded from the offer boxes? Yep, so I'm discarding um, Mariner's cards. Coloured icons for the action types that trigger competition profit if that action or edge is on a discarded card. Coloured icons for action types that trigger competition profit if that action or edge... Oh, I see. Right, yeah, there's coloured icons on here. Right. So, in an offer's action, you discard one or more cards from the offer boxes as specified in the offer's action, which is there, two and three. The competition gains profit for discarded cards with an action stroke edge matching any action stroke edge icons in the offer's action, which is here. So, move or upgrade, it gains one. Explore, upgrade, it gains one. And build, upgrade, it gains one. So, only those three for the moment. Um... Discard the cards in each offer's box as specified by the offer's action. Right, so I'm discarding that one. So does that trigger anything? I don't think it does because it's got that icon on it. Um, some offers show the symbol for the current era instead of... Right, no, it doesn't. Okay, otherwise... Uh, when conducting switch and action, refer to the competition offer's action key the bottom left of each board. Oh, that's here. Ah, right. So that's if it... Oh, okay. Just need to make sure I'm getting this right. It's coloured icons for action types that trigger competition profit if that action or edge is on a discarded card. Okay. I'm not 100% sure I'm doing this correct, and this is going to be a big problem if I get this wrong for the whole game. As you discard cards from the offer boxes, check to see if, if an action stroke edge on the card, so that's that, that's the move one, matches an icon shown in the offer's action. Okay, which is here, so it does. For each match, the competition gains one trillion credits. So if the card that were discarded from two and four had a move icon, the competition would gain two. Oh no, that's on here. Right, it's that. You look that up. Right, an indication of which era cards are to be discarded from the offer boxes, which I thought was that, and then coloured icons for action types, and the moon symbol says the competition gains one for each upgrade card discarded. Ah, right, it's not an upgrade card. No, it is an upgrade card. It can be used as upgrade. Is that right? Some offer actions show the symbol for the current era instead. When conducting such an action, refer to the competition offers box... Right, okay, yeah, I think I've got it. 
So I've discarded that, and because it is a move upgrade action, and because of that, the competition does get one trillion credits. And then it gets discarded. So let's put discard piles, uh, discard pile here. And then number three also gets one profit for that. I think that's it. I think that's how it works. Uh, one at a time, draw and place a card from your era deck into each empty offer box. As you place each card, check to see if it has an edge effect, because edge effects happen immediately, I believe. No, no edge effects. So I'll come back to that later on. Right, okay, back to me. Uh, what am I going to do? Now, I could move out, because I now do have the move cards, which is good, but I kind of want to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one... I am going to put that there onto my infra slot. So that is pretty much my go done. But I have four or fewer cards, so I'm going to draw one from the top of the deck. And we have another cargo pod. We have all the cargo pods. Yeah. Um, why am I putting cards on the infrastructure slot? Yeah, this. Cards in three infrastructure slots gets me two profit. Right. Competition's turn, or the mice's turn. So what do we have here? We have one discovery and contract six. Right. So let's go back to the bit that I was reading earlier. Discovery and contract action. Um, two distinct steps, conducting it in order. If both, either or both can be carried out, proceed with the action. If neither can be carried out, discard the card and draw another one. Right, so discovery. This step is conducted if there is at least one empty explore box on the board at a site occupied by a competition team. Right, this is not an empty discovery box, so it doesn't discover. The contract step, this step is conducted if the contract identified in the action has not been fulfilled for the current era. Contract six has not been fulfilled for the current era. That's the one I was going for. For the contract listed, if there is no competition team on the contract, place a competition team there. Okay. If there was a competition team, remove it and mark that contract as being fulfilled. Right, okay, so it basically takes uh, two goes to do it. Right, okay, that's it, my go. So I've got move two inherently, and I could spend more to move four. I could go to Luna and find out what is on the moon. Um, or, do I want to do that? Yes, let's do that. So I've got move two inherently, and I am going to use these two cards, which don't get discarded just yet, so I'm just going to play them there. They will be discarded in a minute. For move four, and I am going to move one of my teams, so one, two, three for Earth Gravity, and four to land on the moon. I now have four or fewer cards in hand, so I get a new card from the deck, and we have a science module. Right, that's me done. Competition time. What you're going to do? Offers one and three, and there is a bonus for discarding. So offer one gets discarded, but it isn't a move upgrade, and it isn't an explore upgrade, so I don't think it gets any profit. Offer three, same problem, or same thing, it doesn't get any credits for that one, and then we replenish. See, that one is... That's the one I want. That's so much better than these chemical drives. So much better. I'm going to have to do some research, I think. Yeah, because I don't want the competition getting that. So I'm going to choose to research. You can research if you have seven or fewer cards in hand. I do, so I get to research two. I'm having that one, most definitely. And I'm going to, do I want any of these? I don't think I do. Let's have one from the top of the deck. Okay, right, so that goes there. Um, yeah, that, that's my go done. Ah, now that's an infra slot as well, so getting them in three is going to be a bit tricky. Right, oh, I should have discarded these, the cards that I played earlier on. Right, competition's turn. Offers two and four. Oh, and I should have replenished that. There we go. Right, offers two and four. So that one goes, which is a move upgrade. So gets another cheaty profit. And four, which isn't a move upgrade. So it doesn't replenish. We have an edge effect. Right. No, I read about that, didn't I? Um, <clears> there <throat> we go. Look up that edge effect on the solo player aid and carry out its instructions for the competition using the rightmost column. Once executed, discard the card and draw another one, repeating if needed. Right. 
Solo player aid. Edge effects. What have we got? Sabotage. This doesn't sound good. If revealed during a competition offers action. Yes. Choose one of your teams at a site without a base. Yes. Relocate it to a site with one of your bases. Okay, so it goes back home. Um, that's what they do. And then that gets discarded. And we get a new one. And then we get a new one down here as well. Oh, we've got another edge effect. Intercept. What does Intercept do? The competition takes another turn after this one. Brilliant. Okay, so that gets discarded. We get another one. And then the competition goes again. Uh, Lunar LP4. It doesn't have anything on Lagrange Point 4. So it goes on there. I think that's how that works. That's what we did earlier on anyway. Right, now do I get a go? Thank you. Um, well, well, let's just put that on there. Let's just upgrade my infrastructure by putting that on there. I have four cards, so I get a new one. And, oh, that's nice. Yes. Oh, it's the same as that one, but it's still nice. Um, right, competitions go. Offers one and four. Wow, we're burning through them. Now, there is an icon, so that isn't an upgrade. That is an upgrade. Now, it's both. Here's the interesting thing. Does it get both? No, I guess it just gets one. Um, so those two cards go. And then we need one more in there and one more in there. Right. Okay. Sit straight. There we go. Um, my go. Right. Well, I have four move on my board. But because the competition was doing that, I think I'm going to play another solid nuclear drive there. Uh, and then I claim that myself. So I'm assuming this gets removed. don't think there's any point in it staying there, but I'll keep it there just in case. But I think it gets removed. Um, let's just check to see if it says that. Claiming contracts. Um, contracts. Multiple contracts may be claimed in a single turn. Competition uses the same criteria. Uh, your base is never considered yet. Okay, it doesn't say it. Just if you've got it and it hasn't been fulfilled, you may claim it. You gain profit equal to that listed for the contract. Slide the marker to the right so it cannot be fulfilled for the rest of the game. Ha ha, gotcha. Um, right, competition's turn. Solar LP2, stroke, North Mars. So there's two listed. What does it do? Site action. Um, if the competition card lists a site on the current era's board, unless you or the competition already have a base there. If so, discard and draw another. Solar LP2. Uh, we don't. So it's got... Wait a minute. I think there's a typo on the board. Unless I'm missing something. This says Solar Lagrange point one. That says Solar Lagrange point four. That says Solar Lagrange point four. That says five and that says five. And that says two. Right, so I'm being an idiot. This is the Lunar Lagrange point and this is the Solar Lagrange point. So let's just go back. Did I get it right earlier? Ah, right, that should have been Solar LP5. So that should have been there. The next one should have been Lunar LP4, which was there. And now we have Solar LP2, which is there. Right, okay. So yeah, it's just me being stupid and not, I, I'm seeing Lagrange point, but I'm not seeing Solar or Lunar. Now there's North Mars listers as well. So does it do both? I guess not. Um, where is it? This is a site action. Cards with two site actions. When drawing one, conduct the site action at the listed site that contains a competition team or at the first site listed if both have competition teams. If neither site has a competition team, conduct the site action at the site without a base or at the first listed site if both are without a base. If both sites have bases, discard and draw again. Right, so basically, um, if neither side have a competition team, conduct it at the site without a base. Neither side have a base. So the first one listed. Right, so we're done. Yeah, he just gets that. Right, okay. Back to normal, back to me. 
What am I going to do? I have move five now. Inherently, I have move five. So I can go wherever I want to. Well, not completely, um, but I could now go to a solar Lagrange point. Do I want to though? Let's go back to moon. I'm going back to the moon. That's where I'm going with my move four. Now you can throw away other cards in order to draw cards. So even though I've got enough move on my board, I am actually going to throw away um, this, this one. I'm going to throw away this science module here uh, because then at the end of my turn, I have four or fewer cards. In fact, I have four or fewer cards anyway. So I'm not going to, but I could do that next time. So I'm still going to get to draw one. And we have a survey pod, which is... That's just nowhere near as good as the solid nuclear drive, is it? Unless I'm missing something. No, I don't think it is. So, rubbish card. Yeah, rubbish card. Right, competitions go. Uh, what's it going to do? One discovery and contract one. Uh, right, so discovery step. No, there's nowhere that it can explore, so that doesn't happen. Contract step, we put... I'm going to move that because I'm pretty sure... It can't stay there. Right, so that's what that does. My go. Uh, let's explore. Now I have explore on my board. I have two explores here. But I am going to throw in extra explores. No, do I want to? Yeah, because I'm only going to need a maximum of two explore at any time. So actually, yeah, I'm actually going to throw these away because I don't need them. So I've got four explore, I only need two. No, I only need one in fact. I'm gonna explore the moon. Um, so I get one of these. These have been shuffled and we'll see what we found. Abundant ores, there we go. So it's cheaper to build a base there. It normally costs two to build a base on the moon uh, and I claim that, uh, that's mine. So there we go, that's my go done. I could build a base on the moon. Do I get anything for building a base on the moon? No, awesome. Right, competitions go. Uh, a discovery, no, and contract six. Ah, so I'm glad I did that because it, it can't do that. It can't do that now. If there is no competition team on the contract, place a competition team there. If there was a competition team, remove it and then mark that contract as being fulfilled. But it can't. Yeah, it can't do that. So I don't know what it does. I mean, technically speaking, according to this, it claims it, but I know that it can't be claimed. At least I think it can't be claimed. That's the way I'm going to play it anyway. Um, but by the rules that are written, it doesn't say that it can't claim ones that have already been claimed. But it doesn't say it can. Yeah, if neither can be carried out, discard the card and draw another one. And yeah, neither can be carried out. Because it can't do the discovery, it can't do that. So I'm going to discard that and draw a new one. That's exactly the same. Yep, so I'll discard and draw a new one. Solar LP4. Now let's get it right this time. Solar Lagrange point four, which is over there. Boom. Right, my go. So we've, uh, are we going to build the base on the moon? Now the, the advantage of bases is for contracts, but also um, you can take off from a base. So I am going to build a base on the moon. Now the build cost is normally two, reduced by two, so I don't need any build points to do so. Should I have drawn a card at the end of my previous turn? I think I should have done, because I've only got three. Or did I draw one? I think I had five cards, and I think I threw two extra ones away. So I'm going to draw another card. Sorry if that's wrong. Um, right, so yes, I'm going to build, and I'm going to build a base, and I'm going to build, all the bases do all sorts of different things. But I am going to build, I believe, I am going to build a spaceport. Nope, you can only build a spaceport at a Lagrange point. Can't build a spaceport on the moon, which makes sense. So I could take research. Just draw a card from the deck. Oh, sounds like a cat. Hello, Loki. Are you coming up? Is it that time? Are you going to join me on the video? Um, yeah, I can't really build an attraction. Don't really want to build industrial. I mean, that will allow me to build other bases. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, no, I can't build industrial because you need, oh no, you need water or a P number. Um, and that will double build value everywhere else in the system, but I don't really need that. 
So what am I going to actually build? There's very, very little I can build. Oh, hello. You coming up? Yeah, come on. Now you always join me, don't you? Right, now, look at what we're playing today. Oh, dear. We're playing Space Corp. Yeah, remember? Game with the spaceships? Yeah? Yeah. Right, okay, what are we going to do? Um, we are going to build... You're not bothered, are you? Not bothered at all. Not helping me. I think it's going to be a research. But then if I do the research, I won't get to draw a card from the deck. Because the research will allow me to draw a card. Um, I could build a refinery. It doesn't really do much at all. Um, but because I don't want to build a research, I think that's what I'm going to do. Then again, there's a move three here. That's quite nice. No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to build a research. So building the research goes there. I have built a base on the moon. Um, and the research base allows me to draw a card. And I'll draw a card. That does mean I don't get to... Okay, so let, let's say when I built, I did throw in... I did throw in an extra card. I'll throw in a card I don't want in order to get a new card. Um... Now, where does that come from? That comes from the deck before I refresh. No, no. The offer replenishes first, then I get one from the deck. Right, okay. There you go. So that's my go done. Back to the competition. So we have a research base on the moon. Cool. Right, we have Lunar LP4. Right, now this time it is on Lunar LP4. So we refer to this. Uh, competition team is present at a site with an empty explore box. It doesn't have an empty explore box because it doesn't have a box. Site with a discovery tile. I assume that means a site with a discovery tile or site action. If the listed site has no base, locate the site's situation on the following table and complete the indicated action. Yeah, it, when it says site with a discovery tile, it must mean site with a discovery tile or no explore box, because it's going to build a base. Remove the competition team, remove the team and place a competition base. So it builds a base on Lunar Lagrange point four. What type of base does it build? Draw one at random out of the Dennis the Menace cup and place it face up. The two sided anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, draw a base at random from the draw cup and place it at the site. Then compare the base's type, refinery, yeah, uh, to the site and to any discovery tile present. If that type of base is eligible to be built at the site according to the current era's build requirements, Immediately apply the best match event associated with that base. See the table below. If that type of base is not eligible to be built at the site, there is no best match. Right, well it is. It can build a refinery at Lagrange point four. So, match events, refinery, uh, where is it? Ex exploit and refinery. The competition gains X, where X is equal to the total production value. There is no production value. Can you can it build a refinery on a little branch point? No, it probably can't, can it? Yeah, I think I got that wrong. Um, yeah, refinery. The discovery tile has a P number. Yes, yeah, so we can't build a refinery. So what happens if I draw one that isn't eligible? If that type of base is not eligible to be built at the site, there is no base match event, but the base remains. Okay, so it just doesn't get the bonus. Otherwise, I'd be drawing them out of the cup for ages. Uh, right, so that's what it's done. Does that trigger it, any, does it do any claiming or anything? No, I don't think it does. Um, so it has a Lagrange base. Right, my go. What am I going to do? So I've got a base here. That means I can now take off from the moon and go somewhere else. Uh, where do we want to go? So to go to Mars would be one. Is there any gravity on the moon? No. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six movement to get to Mars. I have six movement. I can do six movement. 
So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, and a cargo pod. Play it, and then I'm going to discard it for six movement, take off from the moon, and land on the south side of Mars. Yep. There we go. Right, and I have four cards in hand, so I get a new one. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. Although I've already got one of them, so I don't need it. Right, competition's time. Sisyphus. So it just gets that on there, I think. Competition team not present. At a site with an empty explore box. Place a competition team. If none are available, instead draw and place a discovery tile. Okay, so if there were none of these available, it would get a tile. Um, right, that's it done. My go. Uh, I guess I better explore. I have Explore 2 here. And I need Explore 2 to explore Mars. So, let's explore Mars. We found water on Mars. Now, there's a one immediate profit there. And it costs one less to build a base. So the normal cost to build a base is six. So it's going to cost me five. And that is claimed. That is mine. Uh, can I... No, I can't. I can't draw any cards. So that's my go done. Okay, we have Phobos stroke Demos. So Phobos, there you go. Nice and easy. On my go, I think I might build a base on Mars. I need five build, and I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five build. There we go. Five build, gone. I build a base on Mars. Now it's water, which means I can build... Um, I can build industrial. No, hang on a minute, that's the wrong table. It's here, it's this one. Industrial, I can build an industry, I could also build a... No, I can't. The active player may double the build value when performing a build action elsewhere in this region. So that's good. If I'm going to be building bases everywhere else, that's going to be pretty good. So let's do that. Let's build, what was it? Industrial. Yep, which I can do. So we have an industrial base Built on Mars. There we go. That cost me five build points. That is the first base on Mars. So I get three trillion credits. One, two, three. And I'm in the lead. Awesome. Is that it? End of my turn. I have four or fewer cards. So I get a new card. And it is production. Ooh. Ooh. Right. Competition's turn. Luna. Now, I'm already on Luna. So what does it do? Uh, site action. Unless you or the competition already have a base there. Already got a base on the moon. Sorry, mate. Demos. Ah. Oh, it wasn't there. No, it was at Phobos. Right, now it's at Demos. Better get on with it quick. So, this salvage card, this has an edge effect. I could play this, take all of these cards at the beginning of my turn. That's not my action, is it? No, that's just something that I do. That would allow me to do all sorts of stuff. And now I've got a base there, I can move from there. Yeah, that's really good. Um, I think I probably want to do that. Let's just build lots of bases on the moons of Mars. Because if I get four non-Lagrange bases, there's that. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got this as well. Bases in two regions. I have a base here and I have a base here. I should have got that. Two more trillion credits. Nice. Right. So, what am I going to do? Um, I don't have any build. There's lots of build here. And because I've got that industrial, I double the build value when performing a build action in this region. So I'm going to be able to build on all of these other ones really quickly. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's do that now. Movement from Earth to Mars is nine. I have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna upgrade that. I'm gonna upgrade that chemical drive to that. Now, when you upgrade a card from the current era, it goes back in your hand. Not necessarily what I want, so I wanna get rid of it, but that's okay. Let's draw a replacement card. We have a construction rover. Build two and explore two. Right, competition's turn. South Mars. Can't do South Mars because I'm already there. Offers one, three, and four, and we have a blue icon. So, I nearly messed this up last time. Let's make sure I get this right this time. 
offers one, three, and four. It has an icon, which means blue cards that get discarded will give it profit. That trigger competition profit if that action or edge is on a discarded card. Yeah, so it's discarding one, three, and four, which is that one, that one, and that one. So two cards got discarded with that icon on. So it gets two, and then we replenish. Running out of time. Oh, there's genetics. Do like a bit of genetics. Um, so I think it's done. It's not done any of these, has it? Does it automatically check for contracts on its turn? I think it does, as well as as well as the things. Yeah, check to see if it fulfills one or more contracts. See claiming contracts on the facing page. Yeah, okay, so it does check that. Uh, it hasn't done a produce, hasn't got four Lagrange bases, hasn't got that, hasn't got that. Right, doing okay. My go, I'm gonna play this at the start of my turn. Play at the beginning of your turn, gain one trillion credits, and then take all start cards from the offers. Right, so that's been played. Oh, sorry, start cards. Okay, that's none of them. So forget that. I'm not going to do that. That's rubbish. Um, what am I going to do instead? I think we're going to move. And I think we need to move to either Phobos or Deimos. Yeah, so I've now got seven movement inherently on my, uh, on my board. And seven movement will get me pretty much... Well, it won't get me from here... Oh, yeah. No, eight will get me from Earth to Phobos or Deimos. So seven movement here, plus this one, lets me go to there, from there to there. Right, that's my movement done. I draw a new card at the end of my turn, and I'm done. Please don't build a base on Phobos. One discovery. Ah, right, now we get this. We haven't had this before. Discovery, discovery, discovery. This step is conducted if there is at least one empty explore box on the board at a site occupied by a competition team. Yes, Phobos and Deimos. Draw and place a discovery tile of the appropriate explore value on the highest numbered such site. Deimos is eight, Phobos is seven. So we get one of these on there. It's found a natural wonder. And I assume that means it gets the two trillion profit. Um, Claim on it, award the competition any profit shown on the tile. If it says two discoveries, perform it again. It just says one discovery, but it does say and contract five. Contract five hasn't been advanced yet, so let's put that on there. Okay, right, that's that done. So I'm going to explore Phobos. I mean, I could go to Deimos and build and get the base before it does. And I could build an attraction. It will get something. I think it gets. I think it gets a profit if I build on a claimed site. I think that's how that works. Uh, build. If you build at a site where a discovery tile is claimed by an opposition, they gain two. Okay, so they'll gain two, but I get I get to build there um, before it does, and that would be useful for my. Four non-Lagrange bases. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to move with my infrastructure, and I'm going to move to here. So I'm at Demos. I've got four or fewer cards, so I get to draw a new card. There we go. Right, please don't build on Demos. Solar LP4. Solar LP4. Right, it's there. It's already there. So it's a site action. So it builds a base. So let's see what we get out of Dennis the Menace. And we have a spaceport. Now, a spaceport is something that can be built there. Therefore, it gets the matching bonus. See, I told you I wouldn't be referring to the rules that much from now on. He says referring to the rules. Uh, spaceport, if the competition has at least one other base, yes, it takes the first beyond marker. What? Gah. Cheaty mice. There you go. Have that. It's gone. It's, it's left. It's gone to the asteroid belt. Uh, right, my go. I'm going to build a base. I need a build of five, and I have five. One, two, three, four, five. There's the build five. I am building a base here. Uh, now, the only type of base you can build in an attraction 
is sorry, the only type of base you can build at a natural wonder, I think, is an attraction. You probably could build research, but no, I'm going to build an attraction. There we go. Build a Paul's Do You Moss theme park. Competition gets two profit, uh, but importantly, that's my second base on Mars. No, not on Mars, on Deimos. Right, am I done? Hmm, I think so. I get a new card because I've got four or fewer. And then it's the competitions go. North Mars. So I think it puts one on there. Right, my go. Um, I'm going to explore Phobos. I have explore, so I just do it from my board. And we found exotic elements, and I claim that. So I get one immediately, and it has a p-value of one, which is quite nice. I can build a refinery there or something. Uh, industry, I can build industry. Oh, hang on a minute, I didn't need five. Earlier on, my build value was doubled, so I shouldn't have... I'm going to take that one back. There you go. So it was three, double to six. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's corrected it. Uh, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. That was, that was my explore. I have four cards, so I get another one. And then competitions go. Offers one, two, and four. And it's green. So that one goes, that one goes, and that one goes, and it gets two profit. And we get some more cards. This is going really quick. One of them, one of them. Any edge effects? Nope, no edge effects. Right, my go. Um, so let's build on Phobos quickly. So I normally need a build of five, but everything I play is doubled because I've got industry in the region. Um, so yeah, so I just play these two as build four, which is double to eight, which is what I need. So what can I build on exotic elements? It's got a P number, so I could build a refinery and that gives it a P plus one, which means when I produce, I'll get two points. So yes, I am gonna build a refinery on Phobos. Done, draw a card. Ooh. Right, solar LP1, which is down here. So it goes there, that's it done. My go, now. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna produce one. So I choose one of my bases and it produces and it's got a p-value of two because of the refinery. So I get two points. And I've just done the first produce action, which is two points. And importantly, that means that can just disappear back off to that box because it's never gonna do it. And now get the other produce. Right, competitions go. Offers one, two, and three, and bonus for purple cards. There's a bonus card. So that goes, that goes, that goes. That's the genetics card gone. Rats. There's always the danger. There's the other one. That's not an edge, and that's not an edge. Right. Interesting. That's in bold, and that's not in bold. Hmm. Anyway, little things. What am I going to do? I am going to try and move. Have I got any of these yet? No, I haven't. But. If I can build that base on Mars, that is four non-Lagrange bases. And I'll have all the bases on Mars. So let's do that. Let's just move. I've got loads of movement. I mean, I could go for the second beyond. But no, let's, let's just move to there. Right, competitions go. Oh, I get a card. Is that the last card? That is the last card, right. What happens when the deck runs out? Am I running out of time? I think I might be. End of an era. Either draw pile has been emptied. If this occurs, you take one more turn. Oh. Ah. Didn't realize that. You take one more turn without an intervening competition turn and then the era ends. Oh. Well, that's interesting, in a not very interesting way. So I can't really do much. Um, can't take that card, so I can't advance my genetics marker. 
It means we're going to go into the next area with lots of these unfulfilled. So, yeah, okay, right. Let's just move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take off, which is one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Second beyond is mine. And that is the end of an era. And we're both tied on 13 points. So, at the conclusion of the Mariner's era, prepare for the next era by conducting the following steps in order. Competition bonus production. What? The competition gains X trillion credits where X is equal to the competition base stroke discovery pair with the highest production value. Does it have anything? No, it doesn't have anything. Right. Legacy production, you may choose one discovery tile on the board that has a p-value and is accompanied by one of your bases. Yes, thank you very much. I'll have that. I'll have the exotic elements refinery base on Phobos. That's going to go with me for the future. Remove both dis the discovery tile and the base from the board and put them in there. Uh, yeah, cards. Cards played as infrastructure re remain. Remove from play all other era cards and competition cards from wherever they are. Hand discard pile offers anything. Bop, 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 and bop. Okay, so they are gone. We don't need them anymore. Playing pieces. These all come off. Oops. Uh, these bases come off. I guess those bases go back in there. That base goes back on there. Go back on there. Okay, we don't need these anymore. Right, that's the board cleared. Set aside competition teams and bases for now. No, oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> There's a coal on there. Return your teams and bases to the holding box on your HQ. Yes. Set aside competition teams and bases for now. Okay, yeah. Put remove discovery tiles back in the box. If the first bond marker was still on the board, set it aside. What about the second one? Is there a second one? Wait a minute. Should there be two beyond tiles in a solo game? Uh, D. Place the first beyond marker on the board. The second beyond marker is not used in the solo game. Right, okay. So forget that. That should not be in the game. So what did I do as my last turn? Did I do anything as my last turn? What could I have done on my last turn? Never mind, I, I, I probably missed it. I don't know if I was on Mars. Yeah, I think I was, I think I was on North Mars. So I would have explored. Where's the explore tokens? Let's see what we would have found. Uh, that one, there you go, exo microbes. Two things. Could I have explored? Yes, I could have done. Right, so that's what I did on my last turn. Explore instead of going to the beyond, right. Uh, business is to display, remove it, remove competition teams from the display. Right, okay. Uh, orange fulfilled markers stay where they are. And the board, right. So we're gonna flip this board over now. Uh, let's get rid of these cards. So this is gonna go here. I'll come back to those cards in a minute. And then let's go to era two. Probably going to get time today to play eras one and two. Then I'm doing a live Q and A tonight, uh, and then I'll come back to doing era three tomorrow. That's probably what I'm going to do. And there we go. Right, so that fits in there nicely. Right, next sideboard we've done. Next era, so we set up for Starfarers discovery tiles. Um, so we have we have like six of these. Yeah, so they're shuffled. Uh, we have loads of the twos. These are kind of shuffled already. Okay, and then the threes, which are also shuffled. Okay, competition teams will go back on there. Um, put two of your teams at your base in the inner solar system. Yep. That goes there. Oh, that should be mine. Beyond marker, if you hold the first beyond marker, no. If the competition holds the first beyond marker, it will start the Planeteers era 
by taking three consecutive turns before your first turn. Cheaty cheating with Cheaterson. Three turns? Wow. Competition bases. Add the previously set aside secure shield factory and exploiter bases to the other ones. Yes. So the bases that he couldn't build in the first era, they now go in the cup. Your era deck and starting hand. Grab the Planeteers deck. Is that this one? Yes, that's this one. Remove the 12 start cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. Got those. Shuffle them. Deal two to yourself for your starting hand. Set aside the remaining ten cards face down. Got two science boosters. Shuffle the remaining cards, put them face down. This is the era deck, and put those ten on top. Okay, done. In fact, I'm going to put that here, so I'm not reaching across the board all the time. Um, grab the Starfarer's deck, which is this one, and I've already got the start ones. Shuffle them, six aside, face down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, return the other six to the rest of the deck. Give that a shuffle. Make the competition deck draw pile and then put those ones. So the competition deck is now going to be here with those on top. Um, yeah, once again, there will be two draw piles. Draw the top four cards of your era deck and place them in the office spaces. So these are all start cards. How are we doing for time? 1642, plenty of time. Do need a drink though. Getting thirsty. Where's my drink? Right. Progress cards. So I need these ones. The cooperative empathy progress cards are not used in the solo game. Leave them in the box. Okay. Place the other 14 adaptation and breakthrough cards uh, stack cards are the same. Yeah, okay. So we need. Let's sort these out. So cooperative empathy is not used in the solo game, so that can go. Uh, right, what have we got? Let's get these sorted out. So adaptation of energy efficiency can go there. Um, sensory focus can go there. Uh, radiation resistant. Can go there. Low body mass goes there. Energy fields go there. Probe network sounds painful. Goes there. And quantum mechanics goes there. Right. Progress wheel. <laughs> yeah, no progress for me at all. So we are ready to go. Additional rules, we use the radiation shielding, the transit additions, the award cloud, and the increased contract rewards. I know how they work. This is the one I keep forgetting, spending profit for actions. You can spend one for one up to a maximum of three to boost actions where you're short on. Um, and then the progress action, we will see when that happens. So, off we go. Competition, because it's a Cheaty McCheaterson, basically gets three turns before I do because it got to the first beyond first. So first action is offers one and four. Interesting. This has got a minus on it. So it loses points if it does that. Okay, so it's discarding one and four, which is, and it's got the icon for this era. So it's discarding that one and that one. And neither of them have any of those. So they just get discarded and that's it. So refresh. Right, that was his first turn. Second turn. Interamnia. What the heck's that? Is that a place? Is that a moon? Hmm. I don't know what that is. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got in here. Interamnia. Um, 
spending profits for actions. That's the wrong card. No, 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 that's the right card. Yeah? I'm confused. What is it? It's not something on the board that I've missed, is it? Yeah, Interamnia is there. Okay, right. Just being silly. So basically that goes there. I think it's exactly the same as it was in the last era. It's a site action. Competition team is not present. It's got an empty explore box. So you put a competition team there. Yeah, okay, right. And its third action is two discoveries and contract six. Two discoveries. Well, there's a discovery here. So it doesn't explore one and it finds water, claims the site, gets one profit. Except I can't reach that now. Um, and then contract six, which is that one. See, no, it did tell me to remove them, didn't it? Yeah, okay. So what is it I'm looking at doing now? The three bases in one region. Well, that's pretty... Yeah, these are all individual reasons, so it's going to have to be... There's probably my best one. And four asteroid bases is pretty good as well. That gets five profit. So anyway, have you, are you quite done? You've had your three goes. Um, so now it's me. I get a go. Now, what have we got? We have a base movement of seven. Everything beyond the asteroid belt needs uh, radiation shielding, but if you take off from a shield factory, you are protected from it. Um, and building beyond there is also unless you build a shield factory. So basically with seven movement, I can get to, so I can get to the moons of Jupiter. But then what I'm doing is I am looking for water to build the shield factory, because I think it's got to have water to build a shield factory. I think that's how it works. Shield factory, the site has water, yes. So let's, let's do that. Let's, first action is I'm just going to move using the seven movement that I have on my board and we're going to move from here, and with seven I can go to Callisto, Ganymede, Io, or Dione, Enceladus, Aeptus, and Rhea. Oh, I can get to any of these. So do we want to go Jupiter, or do we want to go Saturn? Um, is that right? Yeah, because it's, you don't, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or eight to Titan. Okay, let's go to Rhea, because it's closest. So I've moved to there, that was it. At the end of my turn, I get to draw a card from the deck, and we have grown a mesh. Right, next, the competition. What is the competition doing? It is offers three and four, uh, which is these two, and it's got the icon on for the era. So does anything get, no, nope. it doesn't get anything. So there we go. That's that done. That goes on there. That goes on there. There's a shielded move there. That's quite nice. I could do with that. But anyway, I'm going to explore. I have Explore 2 and I need Explore 2. So let's draw this, see what we've got. Pirates. So the last time I played, I took out these nasty cards, but I've decided to leave them in this time. And this is like the worst one. When placed, each player with a team in this region loses one. Right, well that's, you know, it's all right. It's only one, however, secure base only at this side, base plus two. So the only thing you can build here is a secure base and it costs two extra. It's like the worst thing. So I need a build of seven to build there. That's not gonna happen. Um, can I move from there? I can move from there. You can move back to a base. You can move to or from a base. Um, but if I move from here, I'm not shielded. Ah, there we go. Shielded build. Might need that. Uh, competition's turn. Offers one and two. Uh, neither of those match any of the icons, so it doesn't get any profit. That goes there, and that goes there. Oh, genetics. Like that. And there's a shielded move there as well. Can I research? I can research. I'd get two cards and I could take I could take those two. Is that what I want to do? I think
think it is. Because these are good cards. Hmm. No, I mean, my plan was to build a shield factory, but that requires me finding one. Um. Okay, let's just... Let's do something different. Secure base only at this site. Yeah, that's terrible. Um, okay, so yeah, let's 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 use my movement again, or move the other team, and this time we're going to go here. And then at the end of my turn, I draw a card, and we get a closed gas core nuclear drive. Right. Let's just get rid of those because we don't need those until era three. We don't need any of that until era three. Right. Competition's turn. Competition draws offers two and three. Okay, so I had a chance, but because it is discarding a genetics card, it loses one point. Here we go. Well deserved two. Okay, new cards. Bigger numbers coming out now. I'm gonna explore, again, I've got explore two. Explore two on there, so let's see what we found this time. Okay, so we found an alien artifact. I get two immediate points and I get one revelation, which is great, but it's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. Uh, I can't move away from there now. Neither of those two oh no, they can. You can move back to a base, but presumably, if you move back from here, you'll lose the claim on it. Um, so yeah, okay, right. Competition's turn. Do I draw a card? No, I don't. Highest even site. Okay, so this is where the numbers come in. Important. Uh, so the highest even site. Well, there's 21. Is there a 22? I don't think there is. So where's 20? Uh, there's 19. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, there's 20, Callisto. So I think it's there. Yeah, I think that's right. Right, my go. So I guess I could build a base here. I need build five and it needs to be shielded unless I build a shield factory, which I can't. I don't have build five, but I have build three and I could spend two profit to make up what the difference. Um, or I could put these down as infrastructure, but then I'm losing this, and I quite like this movement. But I am going to be a bit screwed in future with a lack of build cards. But I think I'm going to do it. So I'm going to play this for build two, that for build one, shielded, so I've got a build of three. I'm then going to spend two profit so that I have a build of five, and I'm going to build a base on Aeaptus. So can I build an industrial site? No, I can't. I think the only thing I can build there... Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, yeah, I can't build industrial, can't build a refinery. I think the only thing I can build there is another attraction. But it does allow me to take off. Can I build a spaceport? The site has no gravity penalty. I could. I could build a spaceport and then you can start teleporting. Um, or I could build research and take one of these and I could take that build four because I say building a base here is really hard but actually it's seven no that is really hard um, hmm. what am I going to build I can't build an exploiter, can't build that, can't build a bio lab. Let's build a spaceport. So we've built a spaceport on top of the alien artifact. There we go. Right, done. I have three cards in hand, so I get an extra one. Ooh, that'll be four cards next turn. Thank you very much. Competition time. Uh, Ceres stroke Vesta. Well, Ceres, uh, I know where that is. He says. Yeah, it's here. So I put a competition team on there. Right, my go. 
I can move now, and if I move from a spaceport, um, you double the value of any one move card, or any one move infra card, if all moving teams begin at a spaceport. Hmm. So, yeah, I could, I could double that to move six and go a long way away. But actually, let's have a look at what a secure site does. Because when you build a secure site, you get one profit for each base in this region. Oh, belonging to an opponent. But when built, gain all immediate rewards on... Oh, no, that's in the Star Fairies era. Uh, they should have been discarded. Building bases in one region is, is, is good, isn't it? Three bases in one region will get that. So that's probably something that I should be aiming for. So let's let's do a research action. I will research with that two and that two. So I research four. Um, I am going to take that as one card. I am going to take that as another card. And then I get two cards off the top of the deck. So I'll tell you what, before I take those... Let's look at these first. So I'll take that one. Okay, then I'll take this one. Oh, does that change things? I think it might. I'm just thinking of upgrading that with that at some point. Because that gives me a lot more movement. Yeah, I'm just going to take these two. Oops. Oops. So I do not get to draw a card at the end of my turn, because I've got seven in hand. And let's replenish. Right. Competition's turn. What are you doing? Vesta. Stroke into Mania. Is it at Vesta? It's not at Vesta. It goes to Vesta. My go. Right, well I think I'm going to move. And I've got loads of movement. Um, so yeah, I'll just move from here, from this base here, to here. Doesn't really... Oh, that's an Explore 3. Explore 3 is I think a better. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go here. I've got the movement to do so. It's my go done. Competition's turn. Io, which is a moon of Jupiter, isn't it? Yeah, I thought it was a moon of Jupiter. I guess there. My go. I'm going to explore. Uh, so I have explore two here, and I have another one explore here on that science booster. So that's explore three. I get an explore three discovery tile, and we have found an alien artifact. Awesome. Revelation 2. So my Revelation cube has gone all the way round, which means I get one of those Revelations. And I will take... Uh, oh. So there's a research action there, but I don't think I'm going to be researching that much. What's that? Energy fields. All your bases are considered to be secure in addition to any other type. It also protects against phobes. Now, phobes are nasty aliens that come out later on. So I'm going to take that, um, just so I can say I've, I've, I've got it, and I'm protected from the aliens when they turn up. So I get two credits, two credits, two trillion credits for taking that. Um, and that's it. So it was just Revelation 2, but it is water, which means I can build a shield factory there if I've got, shield, if I've got build 6, which I will have. Nice. Right. Oh, gosh, what's that? A stroke SF offers two... Th what? Wow. Let's have a look. See what it says. Um, Planeteers. Right. Some competition cards includes a, includes a progress action at the beginning. Right. A progress action is always paired with an offers action. Conduct the progress action first, immediately uh, followed immediately by the offers action in the same turn. A progress action gives the abbreviated name of a progress card. A stroke SF, so it's an adaptation, and it's SF, so that's sensory focus. 
Uh, simply remove the indicated progress card from the sideboard. Okay. There you go. Um, if both named progress cards are available, remove the one showing an award. Um, if only one is available, remove it. If neither is available, nothing happens. Does it get anything? No, it doesn't. Uh, progress prerequisites. If a progress action is marked with an asterisk, it's not. Remove it only if it's removed. Only if the competition has already removed that progress card's prerequisite. Okay. Fulfilling progress contracts. Uh, the competition will fulfill Planeteer's Contract 1 by having removed at least two different progress cards. Okay, so you do count how many has been removed. There you go. I'm going to put them there to show that it's removed one. Okay. Uh, that's it. Right. So it didn't get that one for doing it, but it did remove it. I think that's right. Uh, and then offers 2 and 3 with a yellow icon. There's no yellow icons on 2 and 3. So there you go. No edge effect, no edge effect. Right, my go. Uh, what was I doing? I was building a base on Titan. Do I have build six? Yes, I do have build six. Is it going to be shielded? It doesn't need to be because I am actually going to build a shield factory. So therefore it's automatically shielded. Um, now, six is a bit of a waste. Or do I want to upgrade? How am I doing with movement? Oh, no, actually, I'm going to upgrade. I'm going to replace that with that. And that goes out of the game because that's from the old era. So I'll put that over there. That's my go done. I just did that. Competition. Ceres Stroke Palace. Now, it's on Ceres, so it explores, I believe. It's found abundant ores. That's right, isn't it? If there is a team present, empty explore box, draw and place a discovery tile. Then move the team. Oh, draw and place a discovery tile, then remove the team and place a competition base. So it does both. I may have got that wrong earlier on. Yeah, it, it looks like it does both. So how can it ever be on a site with the discovery anyway? That's what it says. Okay, right. So it builds a base. So what are we going to have from Dennis's cup? We've got a bio lab. It cannot be that isn't an eligible base for that site, so it doesn't get the bonus. That's that done. Me, I'm building a base. So I've got three here from my infrastructure. I need six. So three plus four is seven, which is what I need. I'm going to build a shield factory, which I can, because there is water there. Okay, so that's, that's that done. And I have four cards, so I get to draw a new one. Awesome. Uh, okay, that would have been better than that one. Maybe I should be upgrading that. Hmm. Anyway, competition's turn. Competition is Palace Stroke Intermania. Is it on Palace? It's not, so it is now. How am I doing for bases? Have I got seven build? I do have seven build. So I could just now build a ba base where the pirates are. And just get it done and over with. Yeah, let's do that. So three build plus the four. Uh, it can only build a secure base, so I'll build a secure base, um, and yeah, the secure base basically gets me points for everybody else's base, which is nothing, but it's a base. Uh, competition, oh, I then draw a card, yes, draw a card, open gas core nuclear booster, oh, that's nice, uh, Oberon and Umbriel. Where is Oberon? It's over there. It's a moon of Uranus. So that goes there. My go, well, I'm going to move. I am going to build that fourth base. Um, yeah, where is it? Three bases in one region. Oh, I've done it. 
I've done three bases in one region. So I get five points. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Yeah. So I don't need to build the extra base now. I can just go wherever. Now, there's this teleportation that I've been forgetting about. Spaceport. Yeah, team transport. That's what I should have done. In my last turn, team transport to or from a site with a spaceport, as long as you didn't do anything. So last turn I built this secure base, so that could have gone there as a sort of free action at the, at the end of my turn. So yes, I would have done that. Right, so on my go, I have now my eyes on bases in three regions beyond Jupiter. I'm in one already. So to get to another one, this is where the transit things come in. So to go from Saturn to Uranus is printed on here, transit additions from Saturn moons to Uranus moons is an extra six. So from here to there is six. Uh, oh no, no, sorry, six, six to any of these. Yeah, okay, so transit additions is six. So basically to go from a Saturn moon uh, to a Uranus moon is 12 because it's normally one, five, six, but then you add six on. So I need a move of 12, basically. Um, but I am taking off from a spaceport, so I can double the value of one movement. So I can double the value of that. So that three becomes six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There is the 12 movement. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this here infrastructure on there instead. And that is my action. And I draw a new card and then it's the competitions go. Uh, Ariel and Titania. Where's Ariel? There. My go. So yes, I'm taking off from a spaceport. So this six is doubled to 12 and because I'm taking off from a region with a shield factory, I'm shielded. So I go 12, um, it's from the spaceport, so it goes 12, where are we gonna go? Uh, we'll go to Titania, there you go. And then as my free transport movement, that's gonna go to the spaceport. I think I can do that, pretty sure I can do that. Uh, that was 12. Did I wanna do anything else? Nope, competition's turn. Uh, Umbriel and Ariel. It's not at Umbriel, so it goes on Umbriel. Right, my go, I'm gonna explore. I have explore two. Exploring doesn't need shielding, so I'm just gonna explore two on uh, Titan. Now, the bad one's gone, the pirates have gone. Exo microbes. So, I get two profit immediately and one genetics. There you go. Um, did I wanna throw that away? Yeah, let's throw that away when I was exploring, just so I get a new card. There we go. Ooh, I'll be keeping that, thank you very much. Right, competitions go. Right, adaptation. So it takes energy efficient. So it takes that. It's now taken two progress cards. So it gets one, two, three. Uh, and also offers two and four with a yellow icon. So that goes and that goes, but it doesn't get any bonus. It's not doing very well for getting bonuses on here. Right, my go. Um, I'm gonna build a base. So building a base here is seven. It needs to be shielded. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this move three and I'm gonna put that one in place instead. Because, I want to, but also that gets me non-start planeteer cards in three infrastructure infra slots. Non-start planeteer cards in three infra slots, slots. I get two credits and that one I'm gonna remove back to there. No, you shouldn't remove that because there is a difference if these run out. So I'm gonna leave it on there for now, even though it can never actually achieve that, that particular goal. Um, so yeah, I did that and I draw a card because I've got four in hand, right? Competition, 
Two discoveries and contract six. Right, it's making two discoveries. About time. It's not been doing much of that. Discoveries, discoveries, discoveries. Draw and place a discovery tile of the appropriate explore value on the highest numbered such site. If it's two discoveries, do it again. So where is it? Well, it's on Callisto, which is 20. So that's the highest numbered site. So it gets a discovery tile E3 and it's found oceans to profit and lots of fancy stuff. And then 19, where's 19? Now let's just go through where it is. Oberon, which is 10, 9, 13, 15, three and two. So it's IO. So it discovers on IO, which is explore two. Take that one. Special discovery. Discard this tile and take an E3. Oh, abundant water, aquatic life, two profit, and a genetics. I don't think it does anything with genetics. I'm pretty sure it doesn't because it doesn't have a player board. Um, let's just have a quick check, see what it says. Here we go. Genetics. Advance your tan genetics cube by one. Okay. Let's assume it doesn't. And contract six. Aha! I just done contract six, so yes, so I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't it doesn't claim that. Because it can't. Right, my go. Uh, what am I doing? I'm building a base on Titania and I need a build of seven. I have, and it needs to be shielded. So this build two is shielded, plus the three there is five. And I'll throw that away. That makes the seven. And I'm going to build, let's build a bio lab. You can only build a bio lab if there is, um, bio, uh, there is life there, which there is. Where is it? Here, bio lab. Um, yeah, the discovery tile has the green thing. When built, advance your genetics marker one space. There we go. Awesome. Four cards, draw a new one. Ooh, it's genetics one. Ooh, right. So I could do that and that would get my genetics thing around. Uh, Europa. It's not been on Europa, has it? So it goes to Europa. My go. So I have bases in two regions beyond Jupiter. I want to get a third one, because that's loads of points. So I need to get to Triton or Pluto. Now we've got the spaceport here, so I can probably take off from this spaceport. So from Saturn to Triton is 18. I can double that to 12. It's not shielded, but I am taking off from a region with a shield factory, so that's fine. So 12. 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, done it. Okay, so with that movement, I basically go from here to Triton. There you go. Nice. Uh, that's it, end of my turn, get another card. Ooh, deep space probe, we like that. Okay, Titania and Ariel. Titania, I'm already there. So it doesn't do anything, but Ariel, it basically uh, gets an E2 and then builds a base. So it gets two profit for finding exotic elements. Ouch, that's a nice base. And what does it build? It builds a secure site, which it can do. Yeah. So, oh, that's Loki again. Hello, Loki. You coming back? Yeah, where are you? Per, per, per. I think somebody wants some food. Um, gain one for each base in this region belonging to an opponent. Ah. Oh, no, no, hang on a minute. It's not that, it's this. You were distracting me. Yes, come here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Let's have a look. Right, now, what's happened since you were last here is... Daddy's on Saturn. Yeah. 
Right, what are we doing? Um, secure, that was it. If you have fewer secure bases in play than the competition, you lose one. I don't. I have one, and it has one. Right, okay, so I would have lost one money, but I didn't. So that's good. Um, your purring is very, very loud. Must mean you're very, very happy or you're very, very hungry. Right, what am I going to do? Explore. I have Explore 2. I need Explore 2 for Triton. Should we see what we found? What have we found? We found some exo microbes again. Nice. So I get two profit and I can build another base there. Now, there is a benefit to building four bases on sites containing water or life. And I'm there. I'm there. That would be a third one. And if I really wanted to, I could go here and build a base there. Although the competition would get some money from me, it would get me that contract. But anyway, right, that's that. That's that explore. I get another card. Oh, that's just very simple. Game two. Right, competition time. Pluto. Uh, it's not on Pluto. So there you go. It goes to Pluto. It sends a team to Pluto. My go... And I am going to build a base on Triton. Now, that's a build of 10. Wow. And it'll need to be shielded. Oh, I can do it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10. Oh, that was handy. Yep. Build a base on Triton. And it's going to be another bio lab. Because I can. So this does a whole host of things. First of all, this, yeah, I know. This moves around to here. Which means I get a genetics thing. And I am going to take, I think, I think I'm going to take uh, the low body mass. So once Loki gets off me, I will get the low body mass, which gets me a profit. But I have also now got uh, bases in three regions beyond Jupiter. So I get that one and that one, which is five. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Is there anything else I've got? Uh, no. Four asteroid bases? No chance. I've... I've not bothered with the asteroids at all. Um, two bases beyond Uranus. Well, I, I have one. That's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. Yeah. Oh, you're going down? Right. Okay, so I get this. I get this low body mass. Uh, that's my go done. I get a card. Right, that's all going pretty awesome. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. I have no shield in beyond here. But that, that was a shielded action, so I'm okay. Right. Competition's turn. Titan. I'm on Titan, so it discards and draws again, I think. Does it discard and draw again? I know it did in the first age era. Does it do it in this era? Uh, cards with sights. Yeah, so you do not draw another card in the Starfarer's era. We're not in the Starfarer's era, so I do discard and draw. Io. Uh, right, it's on IO, and there is a discovery tile there. How is there a discovery tile there and not a base? Did I mess it up earlier on? Maybe I did. Oh, because it did a discover. It didn't do a sight action. Yeah. Okay, so the sight action is specifically competition team present. Yes. Site with the discovery tile, yes. Remove the team and place a competition base. So that gets removed. And what's it going to build? It's going to build a shield factory. Can it build a shield factory there? Yes, it can, because there's water. Therefore, it gets this. Shield factory. Uh, the competition gains one, unless you have the radiation-resistant adaptation, which I don't, or both a shielded move and a shielded build infra. No, I don't. So it gains one. Still way behind. Doing well. Doing well. That was IO done. Has it got any of this? Has it got that? Has it got that? Has it got that? No, it hasn't. Right, back to me. So my plan is now, I think, to get to Pluto and build. And that gets me this. Or do I want to do that? I think we want to do this. But that means moving all the way back here. And it's probably worth me just finding water or life myself. Now, the problem with movement now 
is my movement is not shielded. That is the problem. So although I have lots of movement, it's not shielded. I need a shielded movement. Uh, hmm. Or just take the loss. What is it? Two? I think you pay a, pay a penalty of two if it's not shielded. Uh, planet is shielded. If it's not shielded, it's two. In star fairies, it becomes three. So it's probably worth it because I am quite far ahead. Let's, let's move to one of these and take a risk that I can get there before the competition does. So movement from Titania to Umbriel is like three. One to leave, no it's two, one to leave, one to land. So I have move six but it's not shielded. Hmm. I could just throw this away. No, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to do that. I am just going to play this first for genetics one to move that one forward and then I get to draw a card. Oh, it's genetics one. <laughs> I was hoping I'd draw a, a shielded move card, but never mind. Right, uh, Hygieia. Where's that? Oh, it's there. A little asteroid nearby. Right. So my go again. Do we want to do it again? Or do I want to research four and draw four cards? Well, no, because that'll end the era quick. But actually, I don't mind ending the era quick, because I think I'm doing okay. Um, I mean, I could do it getting to that first beyond, first. So, no, let's just let's just play that for genetics one. Move that round. Draw a new card. What? <laughs> genetics one again. Uh, Rhea. Chris Rhea. Right. No, there's a base there, so I draw a new one. Offers two, three, and four. So two, three, and four. Are there any genetics or revelation cards on them? No. So they go, and we get three new ones. And another genetics. Wow. Lots of genetics is coming out. Right, there is the shielded move card, which is great. However, that's only move two, and that is not going to cut it later on in the game. Move two all on its own is not going to cut it at all. And my research is two. So, what are we going to do? Oh, I have the move five here. I forgot about this. Oh, Trixie. Yeah, I think I'm going to need the shielded move. So I'm going to do a research action. I'm going to take two. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that one. Which means I do not draw a card at the end of my turn. And there's the revelation card. Oh, so much good stuff. Right. Competition's turn. Callisto. Uh, is it on Callisto? Uh, there's already... A... Ah, yeah, there isn't a base on Callisto. So it builds a base on Callisto... And we have, we have a refinery. Can it build a refinery there? Yes, it can. Because the requirements of a refinery are the discovery tile has a P number, so the competition gains X, where X is equal to the tile's total production value, which is one. Not very much. That's fine. Right, you're done. My go. So I'm going to play those two. For genetics two, which moves that to there and then that to there, and I get another one. And this time I can take radiation resistance, which means my move and build actions are shielded from radiation permanently. Well, that changes everything. Everything. Wow, that's like, yeah, wow. Dione, where's that? There. Tom so competition goes there. My go. I can now move. So I'll go to Umbriel, and my move action is shielded because I am resistant to radiation, because I have adapted biologically, genetically, whatever's. Um, did I want to throw anything away while I was doing that to draw an extra card? 
No, I don't think I do. Or do I? Yes, I do. I'll throw that away when I'm moving, just to draw an extra card. Right, competitions go. Uh, into Mania, which it's done, so it builds a base here. Well, it's building lots of bases now. Time is it? Okay, half five. I'm going to have to finish this soon. So it builds a bio lab there. Can a bio lab be there? Nope. So it doesn't get the bonus. Right. My go. Explore. Explore two on Umbriel. I have Explore two. Take this one. It's abundant ores. It's not what I wanted. Uh, but it's cheaper to build a base there, but I don't think I want to build a base there. No, nope, I don't think I do. Um, okay, competitions go. Palace. Uh, where is Palace? And have I already built on Palace? It's here. Right, so it places a discovery tile and then build. So it gets two for finding a natural wonder. I think that's right. Check. This is the bit I get wrong. With a sight action, draw and place a discovery tile and then remove the team and place a base. Yeah. So it builds a base and it is a spaceport. Can a spaceport go there? Yes, because there's no gravity penalty. Uh, if the competition has at least two other bases, it takes the first beyond. You've done it again. Sneaked off. Um, my go, I am going to deep space probe to place a discovery tile on an empty site and gain any immediate rewards. Um, let's place it here. The immediate rewards are it's a special discovery, discard and draw an E3, and it is abundant ores and water and I get one, but importantly that is water. So on my next go I need to move out there and then build a base there. That's what I need to do. I'll draw a card because I had four. Right, competition, uh, Enceladus, Enchiladas, chicken enchiladas, where are they? There, so it goes there. My go, I'm gonna move. Let's get the heck out of Triton and head over to Charon. So it's it's plus 18, gulp, in addition to eight. Is that right? 26. So Triton to Charon is 26. I have five, I have 11. I have 16, I have 20, what do I need? 26, can't do it, need more move cards. There are no more move cards there. I could just produce and then draw a new card. Yeah, let's produce, so I produce two. Have I got any P sides? I don't, I only have P1. So I'll do that, I'll produce one, I'll produce on here which gets me two points and I get a new card. Be move, be move, it's not move. Hmm. Right, I need more movement. Competition time. Maybe I'll go from, maybe I'll go from here. Oh, I can't take off from here because there's not a base there. Mm. Right, LB, low body mass. Yep, there we go. low body mass, done. And offers one and four gaining a bonus for special actions or edge cards, which there are not there. Another genetics. Oh, revelation, look at that. Oh, I can't not do it. I'll research two and take both the revelation cards. That's just crazy good. <laughs> That's the move six. Right, competitions go. Uh, B stroke QM. So it takes quantum mechanics, getting two points, uh, and offers one and three, which is that one and that one, getting a bonus for edge cases and special actions, which is none. That goes there, that goes there. Uh, my go, I will just play those two for revelation two, which is that there and that there. That's me done. Competitions go Ganymede. It's not been to Ganymede yet. Where is Ganymede? There is Ganymede. All right, my go. I'm gonna to have to research and take that movement, aren't I? Yeah, so I'll do research two and I'll take that one and that one. 
and let's replenish them. In fact, that edge card came out and I forgot to do that. Apologies for that. An edge card got revealed and I completely forgot. It is hack. Discard all research cards from your hand and offer boxes, replenish empty boxes. I don't think I had any research cards in my hand at the time, so yeah, apologies, that should have gone. Don't think that was there yet. Getting too excited. That's an edge, let's do it this time. Uh, competitors, you lose two. Okay, it's fine, whatevs. The deck is running out, my Q&A is in. Oh, 30 minutes time, I misread the time. Got plenty of time. Calm down, Paul, calm down. What was that? I took them. I did a research and I took them. Yes. Competitions go. The highest odd numbered site. Well, that's 21, but I'm already there. So the next is 19, which is there. So it does the site action. So it explores, which is an E3. Oh, look at that. Like the super, super one. So it gets two trillion credits and it builds a base there. And is it allowed to build this base here? Secure, yes. And it now has more secure bases than me. Therefore, I lose one. Oh, that was a bad turn for me. Right, let's get the heck off Triton and let's get to Charon. So, Triton to Charon is 26. 6, 11. Uh, 17. 22, 26. There you go. That is... That is 26 move. So I go from here, from my Biolab base on Triton, all the way to Charon. Now I need 12 build. Yeah, good luck with that. Competitions go, lowest odd site. Lowest odd site, so one then. <laughs> so it does an explore here, finds that, which is one point. It's catching up. Oh, this is its fourth asteroid base as well. Oh, this is not good. Secure. It's all going wrong. So I lose a point because of the secure. It's then got four asteroid bases, so it gets Five. Look at that. It was way behind. Way, way, way behind. And then it's just suddenly caught up and overtaken me. I think I should write and complain. Uh, I've only got four cards. Did I not draw a card at the end of my previous turn? I don't think I did. Uh -huh. Now I get it. Right, my go... Building on Charon normally costs 12, but because of the abundant ores, it's two less. So I can build for 10. It's automatically shielded because of that. So actually that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. But because of my radiation resistant, I don't need this card anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spend a turn swapping that for that. That goes back into my hand, which I don't want. Oh well, no that's fine, that is fine, yep. Ganymede, nothing happening on Ganymede. Triton, I've already built a base on Triton. Offers one, three and four, and we're looking at this for points. One, three and four. Okay, the deck is empty. I get one more turn, which is just enough to build the base. So build 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, boom. I don't even need 12, but the cards are going to go anyway. I build a base there. Uh, it can be anything I want it to be. In fact, that's got a good P number. That's a P2. Do I want to build? I mean, I could build the exploiter and just get two points straight away, and then I get the exploiter back. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's build an exploiter, gets me the two points. That is now bases in th two bases beyond Uranus. Yes, two bases beyond Uranus, which is three more points. 
suck it competition, which is you I'm talking to. And that is it. That is the end of the second era. So I am going to set up ready for the third era. And then I'm going to have to pause this video and I will get back to you tomorrow and see how we get on. So those cards will disappear. Uh, this is now the Starfarer's deck. So what's going to come off the board? Am I going to take anything off the board? I don't think I am because this is, this is still a P2 effectively. And there's nothing else on there, which for me is better. So these are all going to come off. Um, Spaceport secure. So that was quite exciting. That's because I thought I was running out of time. I mean, I am running out of time, but I'm not running as much out of time as I thought. All of these cards go. Points are fairly close. I mean, I was racing ahead in that one. And the problem is, competition has the uh, a slight advantage going into era three because it, it got there first. It went to the award cloud first. And I got hit by the pirates. And those pirates are a bit of a bit of a pain because you, you get hit by them and you lose the you lose a couple of points, whatever. It's a couple of points. But it's the fact that the tile's just bad in every way. You waste a turn, you lose points, you can't do anything there. It's just all round terrible. Okay, so that goes there. We get some new cards. So setting up for era three is here we go, discovery tiles. Yeah, so I've got the secondary discovery tiles here. They've been shuffled. I've got the primary discovery tiles here, which have been shuffled. We have the aliens here, which have been shuffled. And the bad one is in there. Um, I get three bases on Sol. Um, First beyond, if neither side, if the competition holds the first beyond, place one competition team on each of the Alpha Centauri Lerman 16 stars. Alpha Centauri and Lerman 16. Wow, we got there really early. It will start the Starfarer's era by taking three consecutive turns before your turn. As well. Wow. Did I get something wrong last time? No? Okay, so if I'd started the first beyond, I would have started there. But in this one, yeah, wow, that, that's harsh. That is very harsh. Right, what do we have here? We have um, Star Children adaptation. We have Enviro Tolerance, which is the one for building colonies. We have Silent Partnering. We have hybrids. Uh, we have an entangled transmitter. Matter shifting. It's basically teleport, isn't it? I think. Um, oh no, it's not. It's, it's moving these things around. Jump drive and infra transfer. So that's those. Uh, competition bases back in the cup, done that. Starfarer's deck, remove the 12 starting cards. Shuffle them. I get two. And these go in my hand to start with. What have we got? The first gen antimatter drive and another first gen antimatter drive. Uh, 
So this is the era deck. This gets shuffled. Those go on top. And then we make the offer with these four. And then we get the, we get the Mariner's deck. As well as the eight time cards. So the time cards you normally use in the multiplayer game. But now we're using them in this game. Remove the 12 star cards from the Mariner's deck. I know you love watching me sort through cards on camera, so I could just do a whole video of Paul sorting out star cards. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right, 12 star cards. Uh, return the other six along with the type. So shuffle those. Take out six. Six. Uh, shuffle that along with the time cards into the rest of the Mariner's deck. So these need splitting up quite a bit. Okay. So this is the competition deck. Progress cards, the matter shifting and silent pro silent partnering are not used in the solo game. Ah, right. Matter shifting, silent partnering, not used in the solo game. And they can be removed. Those six go on there. That is the competition deck. Uh, colony tiles. I need. I'll sort out the colony tiles off camera and I'll put them there. And then we are ready. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. So far, I will pick this up tomorrow. Where we'll play through era three and we will colonize the galaxy. Um, I'll see you in a minute. And welcome back. So it's a new day. Uh, yeah, I'm picking up where I left on basically. So uh, yeah, you've probably been watching this video. You're probably not gonna have a day's break between the last bit and this bit. So apologies if I'm a bit flustered, but since the last time we filmed, I did a live Q and A, did some rule book work, uh, went to sleep for a bit, uh, did some more rule book work and it's now my birthday. So uh, yeah, happy birthday to me. I'm gonna get this solo game Finished, we are in era three, I believe. I did the setup yesterday. I have set the colonies up this morning. Now I've only played this game three and four player. So I don't know what these, and I'm looking around for my glasses. I don't have my glasses. Oh, well, this will be fun. Um, so this colony here, whenever an opponent or the competition colonizers get uh, a thing, so whenever, the, right, yep. Yeah. Uh, whenever you colonize, including this one, gain that equal to the number of colonies you control, okay. Gain one profit for every two competing colonies in play, right? At the end of the era, claim any one unfulfilled contract. Ooh, okay, so that's a few points. Um, at the end of the era, gain one profit for every star system without a colony, right? No special benefit. Uh, gain one profit for every adaptation and breakthrough you own, right? I've currently got three. And gain one for each site at which you have a secure base and all my bases are secure. Gain one profit for each site at which you have a secure base. Each site you have a secure base. Yeah. So each site where you have a secure base. So if I build, right, so these are, is this a site? Yeah, this is a site. Okay, so it is only one for each one, I think, yeah. Because you don't build bases? Do you build bases? No, you do build bases. You build bases on these. So these, each one of these is a site. So that could be a lot of points. I think that's right. Let's just check that. Uh, setting up era three. So yeah, we've done the setup. We've done the colony tiles. All systems are go. Um, building bases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exploring star systems. Now remember, I am playing with the bad tiles, but I have taken energy fields. So that's going to protect me against the phobes, should I meet the phobes. Building bases in star systems. So yeah, you're building an eligible base on all of the region's discovery tiles with a single action. So there's multiple bases, which means there's multiple sites. So if I was to build loads and loads of secure bases, although I've only got three. Oh no, all my bases are secure. Right, anyway, let's, let's crack on. Now, the opponent, uh, the mice here, uh, let's just drag them forward a bit. There you go, the mice. They got to the first Beyond First in the previous era, which means they start on Alpha Centauri and on Lumen 16. And I believe they take three turns at the start. 
which is just astonishing. Let's just check that. Uh, if the competition had it, they start there and they take three consecutive turns before I taste my, take my first turn. Right, so here we go. Uh, let's see what they do. We don't need the first Beyond Marker anymore. So first action is Contract 6. Am I using the right cards? I think I am. Yeah, I think I am using the right cards. So Contract 6 uh, is this one, which is non-start Starfarer cards in three infra slots. Right, okay. Second turn is Epsilon Indy. Uh, Epsilon Indy, which is here. Right, so what do they do? Because that is a sight action, and they're not there. So do they just, they literally go there? Um, I think that's how it works. Competition sight action, right. They perform differently. When a competition lists a star system, which it does, list, do one of the following, assessing them in order and stop assessing once our activity is performed. One, if you have a base there, no. Two, if the competition has a colony there, no. If no competition team is present, place one there. Right, very simple. They go to Epsilon Indy. Now, do they go straight onto the system? They don't go... Yeah, place one there. I don't think they use the tracks like I do. I think that's just me. Interstellar movement, star systems, star tracks. Whenever one of your teams moves to a star system, you put it on the track. Uh, a team on a track can't be used to perform actions. At the start of each of your turns, advance it. So yeah, the competition doesn't seem to use that. So anyway, that's that. That's its second turn. Third turn is La Salle 8760 which is learning a lot about my stellar geography here. Here. So again, same thing. There isn't anything there, so they arrive there. Okay, so that's their three turns done. Now it's my turn. What am I going to do? Let's just have a refresher of where we are. I have radiation resistant, so I'm, I don't need to worry about radiation at all. I have a base move of 11 on here, uh, which is not bad. I've got an explore 4 and a build 6. Now, do I need the Explore 4s? Yeah, I probably do, because you're going to need 7s and 10s and things like that. Uh, so what am I going to do with my starting action? I mean, I could just research and grab some cards uh, in the hope that I get more cards. I mean, what am I trying to do? First, Colony. Colonies with at least 16 value. Bases in four non-adjacent regions. Bases in three multi-star regions. See, that's tricky. That's a multi-star region. That's a multi-star region, that's a multi-star region, and that's a multi-star region. And the competition's already in most of them. Seven progress cards, uh, the non-start-star-fair non -star 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 cards in three infrastructure slots, and bases in six regions. Right, so I don't actually have a plan, but I think I'm going to research and just draw some cards. See what we get, because my movement at the moment is 11. I could triple it to 33, and then I could triple that even further to... 99? Yeah, 11, 33, 99. So I could get 99 movement if I wanted to, but I'm probably best uh, drawing some more cards at this stage, because then the 33 movement, you can't end your turn in one of these spaces. So 30 movement is only going to get me in here. Uh, but actually, then I could try and get there before it does. Do I want to do that? See, if you were playing against another player, they definitely get there before you do. But against the uh, the AI, the competition, it's only if the cards come out. So actually, I might do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's take let's take a risk. So I'm going to move 11 tripled to 33, and I'm just going to use that 33 to move to Alpha Centauri, and I go there. At the end of my turn, I get a new card because I've got four or fewer. Uh, Right, I think the edge effect only happens when it goes into the offer, I think. That's the way I'm going to play it. Anyway, right, we are Tau Ceti. Tau Ceti is up there. So we're going to have competition one on there. And now it's my go. So at the start of my turn, that moves one down. Um, do I just want to do the same again? Hmm, that's a, that's a good question. Do I basically scupper their plans and try and build before they do? Yeah, it's worth it. Let, let's give it a go. So again, 33 movement, move to here, 
draw a new card because I've got four or fewer. Right, done. Competitions go, and we have all offers, and we have purple. So anything that's purple gives them a bonus. There isn't one, so we get rid of all of these cards here. Just check that's recording. It is, and then we refill the offers, and now we process edge effects should they come out. We have no edge effects. Right, good. My go. Uh, so that moves one down. That moves one down. So they can't do anything yet because they're still on the track. So this might be a good time to research unless I want to send this one somewhere else, but I would need 60 movement. Now I do have... No, I've got 11 times 5. Um, I think you can boost it. And I think you can boost it... Do you boost it before the multiplier? Um... Let's have a look. Star systems, exploring star systems, establishing colonies. What's it called? Spending profit for uh, something or other. It's definitely in here. Sure, you can do it because I was doing it before. Uh, yeah, I don't think he, I don't think you can do it at the start. So I think those rules only come in in the planeteers era. Spending profit for actions. Uh, spend one per profit shortfall up to a maximum of three with a spending limit. Uh, that's if you want to conduct an action where you can't get the required value. And I don't see any change to that in here. So no, you can't you can't do it before you use the multiplier. If it's wrong, then I've got it wrong. But I think that's it. So basically, yeah, I'm eleven. I'm fifty-five. Uh, I can't spend five because you can only spend a maximum of three. And I probably wouldn't want to do that anyway because I am slightly ahead on points. I thought I was behind yesterday. Anyway, um, so what am I going to do? I'm going to research and pick up some cards. What do we have here? Uh, okay, so that's a move six. That's a better infrastructure card. So yeah, let's research. I get two. I'm going to take that one. So that goes into my hand. And I'm also going to take... Mm. Uh, this is an infrastructure card as well and it's a non-start card so this will help me get that one before the competition does but do I want to take that one because that's going to get rid of one of these explores uh, yeah let's do it let's take that one as well right okay let's refresh the cards oh I have four or fewer so um, yeah where's the turn order Right, you replenish first, just in case it matters. Oh, genetics. And then I get an extra card. Oh, revelation. Nice. Right, competitions go. How's my revelation looking? One more and I get a breakthrough. And there's a double explore there. That's nice. Right, we have uh, Groombridge 34. Where is Groombridge 34? There. So we put another one on there. And that's competitions go done. Right, so these... This team here has arrived at Alpha Centauri, so I can now explore, but I need an Explorer 4. Oh look, I've got an Explorer 4. So I think I'll do that. Um, I will explore 4 using my infrastructure, and I get a primary discovery. These have been shuffled, and we've got an anom 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 anomaly. I get two points immediately. Um, I get one revelation. There we go. There is the breakthrough. Uh, but it does cost four extra to build a base there. Right, so I've got a breakthrough. Which breakthrough do I want? Uh, I might have the Entangled Transmitter. Because that seems pretty cool and that enables me to then get the jump drive. So Entangled Transmitter, I'm the first player to have got this, so I get two profit. Immediate transfer one of your teams at Sol or a star system to any empty star system, placing it directly on the star. Wowzers. Right, so this one is going to go directly on the star. And I think I'm going to put it here. Yeah, I'm going to literally compete with the competition. Um, there we go. So I've developed uh, the Entangled Transmitter. Right, that is my explore action done. That is the end of my go. So it's going to cost me 12 to build a base there. And there are only certain bases that I can build on an anomaly. Why can't I say that word? Um, all offers. So all the offers get thrown away and it gets one profit if it throws away a production card. Which it does. Production card there. So it gets one profit. These all go. 
Wow. I mean, this is going to speed the game up because it's burning through these very quickly. Oh, look at those genetics. That's three genetics there. I would be crazy not to research. I would be absolutely crazy not to research. I think, because genetics is good. I can research. So should I? Well, that one moves to there. So I could explore for four, or I could ex Oh, no, that needs 10. Um, or do I research and grab those before they go? I mean, that's three genetics. That's really good. That's really good. And I can have adaptation because I have two breakthroughs. Oh, decisions, decisions. Um, I think I'm going to just explore four. Yeah, let's explore four and let's explore Lumen 16. We have found a planetary system. One revelation, pop, and it's got a P2 value. So I could um, build something on there and start producing. Right, it's my go done. Uh, Captain Star, where is that? It is there. And that's the competition's go done. Right, my go. I think now I am going to research. Now, do I want to play this as well and research four? Or do I want to save that for the revelation? I probably want to save that for the revelation. So I'm just going to research two and I'm going to take those two cards. There we go. So those are my cards, mine. Uh, refresh. Okay, and now it's the competitions go. Uh, we have a time card. Now, what do the time cards do? I know what they do in a multiplayer game. What do they do in this game? In fact, I don't think I've seen this anywhere in here. Oh no, they don't do anything. It's just what's printed on the bottom. Yeah, okay, I'm being stupid. Uh, it's LaSalle 8760, which is, have we seen that one before? It's here, no, uh, here. Right, now it's already there. So what do they do? Is this in the reference sheet? I'm assuming it is, or maybe it's not. No, it's not. Uh, let's go back to the book, right. If you have a base there, no. If the competition has a colony there, no. If the competition, if no competition team is present, place one there, no. If competition has both a team and a base present, no. If the competition has a team present but no base, and all explore boxes contain discovery tiles, no. Uh, if the competition has a team present but no base, and all explore boxes contain discovery, no. If the competition has a team present and one or more explore boxes are empty, yes and the site's explore cost is seven or 10, which it is, it places discovery tiles. Um, right, placing discovery tiles, hexes, bases and colonies works as it does with the following modifications. If the competition reveals the phobes or introvs, discard it and draw another one. Okay, so it, it's, right, let's take one from that pile, for the primary. Okay, so it's found a habitable planet around, let's say, 8760, and Critical mission delay. See, that's the advantage of putting the bad ones in. Sometimes it affects the other player. Well, it gets two profit for this, but then it loses two profit for that. Uh, so that gets discarded. And we draw another one. And it is rings. Uh, and it also gets genetics one, which doesn't have any effect on them. And right, so that's it. That's the discovery tiles placed. So next time round, it will build a base there. Right, okay. I think that's right. I'm going to leave that out because that bit I don't think is on the reference card. Uh, my go. So I've got seven cards. I've got three genetics here if I want to do some fancy genetic stuff, um, which I think I just might do. So that's genetics three, which moves this round one, two, three, and gets me an adaptation. I'm going to take star children, uh, which I am allowed to take. I get one profit for taking it and immediately play, gain a new team and place it on the star in any region that doesn't have a team. Right, where do we want to put it? See, I'm already down here. I'm already, let's put it down here. There you go. Right, nice. So that was my go done. Yep, I just did genetics. Uh, competitions go. Uh, a stroke, right, adaptation star children and all offers. Okay, so it takes this one. 
Now, how many cards does it have now? It has one, two, three, four, five cards. It needs seven. Okay, so it took the Star Children. Uh, I don't think it does anything with that. And all offers. And anything with a revelation, it loses one. And anything with genetics, it gains one. Right, there's none of them there. But that is another four cards gone. This is going, this is going quick. Although this is a bigger deck than normal. So that's probably why. Okay, no edge effects came out. That is the competitions go done. My go. I should probably build a base, or should I explore here? I need 10 to explore there. I do have 10, so I could do that. I could just put that on my infrastructure, uh, or I could start building bases here. Now, it's going to cost me 12 to build a base there. I only have six. Can't quite get to... Oh, no, I can. I can throw all of this away to get to 12. Um, or building a base here would cost eight, which I can also do. So I could do that. I need to build a base there before before the other player does. Um, I could just explore Epsilon Indy. Yeah, let's explore Epsilon Indy and see what we find. So I have Explore 2, Explore 2, and I'm going to throw that away for Explore 6. So that gives me Explore 10, and I get a primary, which is discard this tile and draw an alien tile. I have found aliens, and we have found the mines. So the mines go there, which gives me two profit immediately, uh, one genetics, and two revelation, which is another breakthrough. And that is life and bio. Yeah, that is a very, very good tile. And this is what, what I mean about the swinginess in the game, um, is you can get a tile that's just really good. It's a really good tile, it's another good tile, it's two profit, it's one genetics, it's two revelation, it's awesome. Or you get another tile that's really nasty. But that's the game, that's what it is. Uh, so I get another breakthrough, so I am going to have my jump drive, which I can have now because I've got the entangled transmitter. I get two profit for that. Um, my move actions are now times four. Awesome. Right. Uh, oh, and now I've got two secondaries as well because you explore everything. So that is another two profit because I have found some alien ruins and another one revelation. And then this is planetesimals. So it's going to be quite expensive to build a base here. It's going to cost me 24. Um, but the initial bonus for finding that was pretty awesome. Right, end of my turn. I have four cards. So I get a new one. And it is production. I've still got this little refinery here. I think this was on Mars or something. Yeah. It's P2 if I use it. Right, competitions go. Uh, 61 Signy. Which is... Down here. Right. So... It is there. The explore value is seven. No, that's me. <laughs> that's me. It's not there, so it goes there. Right. So I need to get there before it does. Now, my explores are only four. I need that probe network. That's what I need. I need another breakthrough. I have one revelation here. There's two genetics there. Now, if I was to take them and then play them, that would get me my seventh progress card. And I would definitely take Enviro Tolerance because that's going to be good for building colonies. Let's do that. I'm going to choose the research action. I'm going to take those two cards. That is the end of my go. Let's replenish. No edge, no edge. Competitions go. Epsilon Indy. Uh, which is here. Right, so Epsilon Indy. Let's start reading through. If you have a base there, no. If the competition has a colony there, no. Uh, if no competition team is present, no. If, if it has both a team and a base, no. If it has a team present but no base, which it does. So I've, I've claimed these. These are mine because I discovered them. It has a team. It has no base. And all explore boxes contain discovery tiles. And the site's explore cost is four or seven. It's not. It's ten. Otherwise, it would have placed a col It places bases and then a colony. Wow. If the site's explore cost is 10, it places bases. Rats. So it has built a base there before me. Now that does mean, because I claimed it, I get two money as compensation. However, it does mean it sneaked ahead of me on the whole building the bases there before me. So let's see what we get. 
First of all, on the mines, it's going to build a... It's going to build an attraction. Can it build an attraction there? Uh, the discovery tile has a volcano or ancient artifact, outpost, ruins or anomaly. No, it's neither of those, so it doesn't get the bonus. It's not a competition-based match. Right. On the alien ruins, it builds a refinery. Can a refinery built there? Got to be built on a p-value. There is no p-value, so it doesn't get the bonus. And on the planetesimals, it's built all the wrong things in the wrong place. See? Mice. Not very good. And it's built a spaceport there. Spaceport can be built uh, anywhere that it isn't an anomaly or dust. That is correct. So it's done that. If the competition has a colony in a region that is adjacent to an Orion Spur site containing no teams, place a competition team at that Orion Spur and award the things accordingly. Right. No, it doesn't do that. Okay. So I think that's right. I think it, you've just placed them. Let's just check. Placing bases. Randomly draw and place a competition base on every discovery tile. As you place each base, compare the base type to the discovery tile. If that type is eligible to be built on the tile according to the Starfarer base build requirements, immediately apply the base match event, which I did. If that type of base would not be eligible, do not apply it, which I did. Base placement limitations imposed by introvs and phobes do not affect the competition, only you. Okay. So, yeah, that's it. Right, okay. Um, so that's that. It built a base at Epsilon Indy ahead of me. I got a little bit of compensation, but it means I can't build a base there now. Right, my go. Do I want to start building a base somewhere else before I get caught out? Am I going to be able to build now in three multi-star regions? Yes, I am. There, there, and there. That needs Explore 7. What build do I need here? I need Build 8. I have Build 8. Oh, I was going to do this double genetics, wasn't I? <laughs> well, I was going to. Maybe I should be doing something different. Um, yeah, maybe I want to do something different. How am I going to get build eight? Uh, I mean, I can just play this. Yeah, let's just build this. So build six on here, plus another four. Remember, I'm resistant to radiation, so I don't have to worry about that at all. I'm going to build a base here on the planetary system. So what base can I build? There. Well, it's got a P number, so I could build. Now, if I'm going to be building a colony, it really needs to be industrial. Uh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong reference card. Because um, industrial will it'd be worth one colony point, and if I haven't got that, I'm not going to be able to build a base there. I don't think. No. Um. Do I want to build a spaceport? No, don't think I do. I think I'll just build an industrial and build a cheap, cheap colony. So industrial goes on there. Well, then again, if I'm going to go down the produce route, no, okay, let's stick with the plan. Not that I really have a plan. So I've built industrial on there. That gives me one colony point. I need to get at least three colony points to build this rubbishy colony here, which is still a colony because colonies are worth points at the end of the game. Um, is that it? I've built. Yeah, nothing else happens. So that's that. Right, competitions go. Epsilon Eridani is up there. So it goes all the way up there. There you go. Is that a multi-star system? It's not. Looks like it should be. It's just far away. Right, my go. So I built a base there. Um, I don't have, I, I could just build another base here, so it's going to cost 12. Yeah, that's going to cost me all of those. I need to replace these, really. Um, do I want to go for one genetics or two? Let's just go for one. I'm going to play this just as one genetics. Might regret this. Yeah, I think I'm going to regret it. So I'll play two genetics. It moves this round twice, which means I get an adaptation. I'm going to take Enviro Tolerance. So that gets me one for taking the card. But also, I now have seven progress cards, which is four. One, two, three, four. There you go. It's my seventh progress card. 
going to line these up so they look nice. Right. Um, and I end my turn with four or fewer cards, so I get a new card, and it is obviously genetics. That's the way it goes. Right. Groombridge 1618. Is it already there? It is already there. It's got an explore value of seven, so it explores. We have a primary, and we have a secondary. It gets one profit for the alien outpost, um, and I think that's it. Yeah, so if its explore value is four, it would build bases as well, but if its explore value is seven, it just, uh, it just explores. It doesn't discover. Right, uh, sorry, it just discovers, yeah, it doesn't build a base. Right, my go, um, am I going to build that back? I mean, we've got to build five here. I mean, this is really not, this is an infrastructure card, but I will be losing out on my explores. Um, and then there's this revelation. Do I want another revelation? Do I want another breakthrough? Possibly. Because um, some of those are quite nice, and they're worth points. And that probe network might be useful. So, yeah, let's take it easy. Let's just play that as revelation one, move that round, get a new card. Typical, another revelation one. But look at that genetics. Oh, it's going to be a tricky decision. Right, competition Ross 780. Hello, Ross. Um, Ross 780, so it goes there. It's running out of pieces. I think that should have been removed, actually. Is that right? If you, do you remove the team once it's built a base? If it has a team present, it places discovery type. Right. Uh, bah, 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 bah. It places bases. If the explore cost was 10, it, places, it doesn't say that you remove the team. So it's going to run out of teams fairly soon. Yeah, it places a colony. Uh, team removal. So once it's placed a colony, it builds a team. Uh, it removes the team. Right. Where were we up to? What was I doing? Uh, it was going there. That was it. So it goes done. My go. Do I do another one revelation? Or do I use this for genetics? Because that's, I can basically have either a genetics or, I mean, I don't need the extra cards now. Um, how am I going to build a colony in here? I need eight. So you need three colony points. I've got one because of this. I've got one because it's industrial. Uh, and that's about it. I mean, I could remove this team and that would give me get me an extra one. Um, or I could have eight build points in infrastructure and cards in hand to get one point, which I theoretically could do that as well. So I could actually build my first colony. Um, do I want to do that? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. So I'm going to build my first colony. So colony points, one, two. I've got enough build there to make it three. I have built a colony. It's not a very good colony, but I have built a colony. That is the first colony, which is three points. One, two, three. Rocking ahead. But I did, this happened in the last era, and then it caught up, didn't you? Um, right, what are you going to do? You are going to Tau Seti. That's what you're going to do, which is there. Explore value is seven, so it gets a primary and a secondary. That's it found. Primitive culture. Uh, discard that to get a primary one. A planetary system. So it gets two profit immediately. Um, and then, uh, yeah, lots of stuff. Are oh, there with colony points? That's a really good place to build a colony. I forgot some of the tiles have colony points on as well. Yeah. Oh, if I can get there. That's a bit far away, isn't it? Um, right, my go. What am I going to do? Oh, I've got four cards in hand. I should have drawn one at the end of my turn, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, do I want to do the revelation? And get that probe network, is that going to help me with some exploring? I think it is. I think it totally is, because then I can explore there. I need to be moving on as well. I mean, I have 44 movement here, because I've got 11 movement here, times 4, I have 44 movement. So I could potentially go to uh, Gilise 1 and explore there. Because this is all done now, I can't do anything here. You can't build a colony there unless you've got a base there. So I think, 
And that's what we might do. Unless we wanted to go from here to here. I've only got 44. That needs 50. Hmm. Then again, there is building a base here before it does. And there's exploring here before it does. So, yeah, lots of choices. Let's explore here. Because I've got explore two, explore two. Oh, but if I take that... Okay, no, let's play the revelation. Play the revelation, move that round. Uh, take the probe network, which is two immediate points. And... That's my go done. Draw a new card at the end of my turn. And again, it's another revelation. Um, right, so what does it take? It takes an adaptation and it takes hybrids. So it takes hybrids, which gets it one. Um, and all offers and action cards and edge cards trigger the bonus. There aren't any of those. So they all go. We get four new cards. There's another revelation. Oh, look at all that produce. And there's another revelation. Wow. Okay. So on my go, I am going to research two. Do I want to research two or do I want to research four? Let's research four. So I'm going to research two plus two for four. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that one. Now, those builds are actually quite nice because I need lots of builds. So let's take those as well. Let's just take the whole lot. This is all mine. There we go. Right, let's replenish. One, two, three, and four. We have an edge card. So edge card is market influence. Market influence. The competition gains two. Right, nice and easy. Two, that gets discarded. We get a new one, not an edge card. Right. So, back to me, I could just play these three for three revelation, all the way round. I get another breakthrough, and I am going to take... What haven't I got? I mean, I haven't got that one, but I don't want that one. I'm going to take this one. It's two points immediately, and at the end of my actions, I can upgrade one eligible card I played from my hand. So basically, yeah, I can play a card from hand, like this, use it, and then drop it in. Basically saving me in action. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, my go is done. I do not... I have more than four cards, so I don't get a new one. Competition. Uh, Wolf 1061. Where is Wolf 359? Wolf 1061. There you go. Right, so that can go on there. My go. Right. A whole host of options now. Um, hmm. I could explore here. Yeah, let's explore here because I've got explore four doubled to explore eight, which is all I need. So I'm going to explore uh, 61 Signy. So alien culture contact. I found more aliens. And this time it is the Introvs. That's a bad one. Mm. And we found that. So both of them get me two profit. One, two, three, four. I'm absolutely hammering this. Uh, one genetics, one revelation. Um, oh, there's a colony point there. Oh, there's a colony point there. Right. I need to read what the Introvs do. I've never come across them before. Introvs. I'm guessing introverts. If the competition reveals this tile, discard it and draw another. If you reveal the tile, you cannot build bases in this system uh, unless you own the sensory focus adaptation. I do not own the sensory focus adaptation. Right, so I need to do some more genetics, which I can, in order to do that. Oh, I should have got that before. That's really good. Um, anyway. Who was that? I've lost track. That was me. That was me exploring. So that's my go done. Um, competition. Right, so it has a breakthrough. It has the entangled transmitter. And then it clears all the offers, scores points for yellow ones. There's no yellow ones there. So no points are scored, but we are flying through these cards. We have an edge effect, and this is leak. 
Doesn't sound good. Leak. Choose one. You either lose two or return one of your progress cards to the sideboard. Uh, I'll lose two because I've got loads. That then goes. I need a new one. with this. I'm going to lose by two points now. That one goes. That one. And we have another edge. We have hack. Hack. Uh, discard all research cards from your hand and offer boxes. Don't have any. It's just that one. Okay. And we have another edge. We have intercept. The competition takes another turn after this one. Okay. And we have another edge. Incompatible. Uh, if your HQ contains any infra cards from a previous era, remove the one with the highest card number from play. It does. Highest card number. I guess that's in the bottom right. So that goes. Oh, lost that. There we go. Never mind. Uh, right. We're still replenishing. No more age, but now it's the competitions go again because of the intercept. Contract six. It's already got a counter on contract six, so it completes it. Gets two points. The tide is slightly turning. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Right. My go. Um, so for me to build a base here, it's going to cost me... Oh, I can't, because I need that. Right. That's what I'm doing. I play that for genetics one. Move that to there. Get sensory focus. There you go. So I can now build in there. I have four cards, so I get a new one. And now it's the competitions go. Alpha Centauri. Uh, right, so what does it do at Alpha Centauri? I think it's going to build a base. Rats. <sighs> if it has a team present, but no base, and all explore boxes contain discovery tiles, and the explore's cost is four or seven, it places bases, and then a colony. Right. So it's placing a base at the anomaly. Uh, it's placing a spaceport, which it's not allowed to, so it doesn't get the match bonus. Yeah. Uh, and then placing a colony. Perform the following steps in order. Colony ID. Choose the available colony with the solo selector number matching the selector number on the competition card. Zero. So that's this one. Um, if it's not available, choose the one with the lowest, uh, with the closest in value. If two colonies are the same, choose the one with the lower ID number. ID number. Don't know where the ID number is. Okay. Um, choose the colony with the ID number closest in value. If two colonies are equally close, place the one with the lower ID. Okay, right. That is, the low, that is the ID number. Place it at the chosen site. So what was this? Alpha Centauri. So it builds a colony at Alpha Centauri um, after it's built a spaceport. Award the competition profit equal to the colony value of the colony. Colony value. Is that three? Remove all competition teams from the site and return any of your teams there to Sol. Oh, right. So I go back to Sol and that goes back there. Colony value. See, so is colony value three? Does it score three points by doing that? Um, building colonies. Colony points. I'm not sure what colony value is. Unless it's the special bonus that you get for placing it. Is that the value? Um, place the selected marker in the region. What does it do? It gets that. In addition, they will get a unique benefit. So I'm not sure where colony value is, because there's a thing called colony points. You accumulate colony points, and then you spend them on the colony. Uh, yeah, colony value. Right, so it's the number of pips across the top. So it's just placed... A three pip thing, so it gets three points. Right. And then there's end game scoring as well, which I assume it scores. So it's got one colony, I've got one colony. It's now my go. And that sounded like a Loki, so it's time for Loki to join us, I think. I just heard a meow. Yeah, definitely hear a meowing. I'm in here. Yeah, I know. Daddy's busy, he's in space. Right, where was I? Um, yeah, I think it's my go. 
So is that going to mess up all of my plans? No, I'm, I'm still ahead, so I'm not going to worry too much, he says. Um, so I've explored here. Now, to build a base here is going to cost me 14, plus 4 is going to cost me 18. But it's going to be an awesome colony, so that's what I want to do. And I can now build a base there because I have sensory focus. So how am I going to get build 18? I have here, if I use all of this, I have 13. So that's not enough. So I'm going to need some more cards. So I'm going to have to research. Uh, and in fact, they can be placed as infra. So that's quite good. So I'm going to research. I'm going to draw two. I'm definitely going to take that one. And hmm. do I want to take that one as well? Let's take this one. No, because that's going to speed the game up. Let's take, yeah, go on, let's just take that one. Oh no, there's that one as well. Take that one. Right, there's my two cards. Replenish. That one. And that one. And then it's the competitions go. Uh, Epsilon Eridani. Where is Epsilon Eridani? It's up there. It's already there. And it's an explore value of 10. Uh, has a team, one or more boxes are empty, and the science explore cost is 7 or 10, it places discovery tiles. Right, so it's going to discover Epsilon Eridani. It's found an exotic asteroid belt for two points, and it's also found these two things. So exotic life, and also an icy asteroid field. Okay, so they go there. That's what it's done. My go... I am going to build, and I'm going to use my uh, infra transfer. So I'm just going to play this. So I've got build uh, four, five, six, seven. What did I need? Eighteen. Okay, both of those. That's seventeen. I'm then going to spend one profit to get the eighteen I need to build a base there, and then because of my infra transfer. That goes onto my board instead of being discarded. Right, I have built 18, so I am going to build bases. Well, one of the bases I'm going to build is definitely going to be industrial, because that's going to get me a colony point. Um, and an industrial base can go, I think, anywhere where there is a P number or water. There's water there, so that can go there. And on the other base, now remember, these are all, these are all secure bases as well. And a secure base, when built, gets one. Uh, when built, gain all immediate awards on discovery tiles in this region if the phobes are oh, right. Okay, so no. Uh, what am I going to build there? Well, there's a P number there, so it probably doesn't actually matter. I could exploit it, <laughs> exploiting the uh, the the aliens. Because um, if I'm not going down the produce route, then there's no point building anything. And I don't need a shield factory because I'm resistant. So yeah, let's just build an exploiter there and get an immediate two points. Nasty person. Can only do it once though. Uh, right, that was my build action done. I have four cards, so I draw a new one. And now it's the competition's go. Uh, Epsilon Iridani. Right, now at this point, I think it now builds bases. Um, no base, all explore boxes contain discovery tiles, and the site's explore cost is 10, it places bases. Right, here we go, what's it going to build? First of all, on the exotic life, it builds a spaceport, which it can do. Uh, spaceport... Yeah. Does it have a colony in a region that is adjacent to the Orion Spur containing no teams? No. So it doesn't get the match bonus. Next one on the icy asteroid field, industrial. It is allowed to place that because it's got water. Uh, place a competition team at an unoccupied star in the same region. Or nearby region. So it can. It can go there. Oh no, it's already there. Uh, if not possible, it gains one. Right, okay. 
And the third one, the exotic asteroid belt, is an attraction. Can it build an attraction there? Uh, it must be an alien artifact, outpost, runes, or anomaly. No, so it doesn't get the match bonus. But it has built lots of bases. Right, back to me. I think I'm going to build a colony, and I'm going to build it here. So I have one colony point because of this. I have one colony point because there are... It's all written on here, actually. Uh, colonies points equal to that listed on all discovery tiles, which is two. So the one, two. Do I have a nearby colony? No. Is there an industrial base? Yes, that's three. Are there two or more bases? Yes, that's four. Uh, five. Oh, I could spend five points as well to get six, but I don't think I need two. Oh, I could. Okay, so some of these are nice. So I could take this and then just try and blow through the area as quick as possible. I mean, I want to build that, but I want to build that later. Because all of my bases are secure. So I need lots of bases on the board before I take that one. I could take this one, but... And I could remove the team. Do I want to remove the team? Yeah, go on, let's do it. I'm going to remove the team from there. So that's gone. Um to get six colony points, and I'm going to place this. So where was I building? I was building here, wasn't I? Yeah. Uh, so that goes there. And I immediately gain one profit for every adaptation and breakthrough you own. So I get 10 points. So from 16 to 26. Yeah, rocking this now. Just want to get it over with, and hopefully we won't catch up. So I need to burn through this deck as fast as possible. How many colonies do I have on the board now? I mean, how do I mark that that's my colony? Oh, because I've got bases in that region. So I have two, which is fine. Right, the competitions go. Uh, 61 Signy. Yeah, I need to do this before it catches up somehow. Uh, where is 61 Signy? It's there. So if you draw a card where I've got a colony, discard the card and end the turn. Awesome. Right, it doesn't get another go. So my go. Yeah, do I want to just try and run this down quick? Uh, or do I want to do more stuff? Uh, I mean, there's these. Am I anywhere close to that? No. Am I anywhere close to that? No. Anywhere close to that? Multi-star regions? Is that a multi-star region? Yes. Yes. Can I get another multi-star region? I don't think I can. I think there's only four in the game. So I can't get that one. And bases in six regions. <laughs> yeah, not going to get that. But if I did, it'd be seven points. So... Yeah, I think because I'm way ahead, I think I might just try and run the deck down as quick as possible and see what happens. It seems a bit lame. I should be trying to build more colonies and I should be getting out there into the Orion Spur, but I know what happened in the last era. It suddenly caught up and then went off, uh, and that wasn't, that wasn't good. Now, I have a colony here. Okay, now let's, let, let's do it. Let's try and build a colony here and then let's try and get out. So I have movement of 6, 11, 44, 88. I have 88 movement without doing anything, um, which you can split. I think you can split. No, you can't split it. No, you can't split it. It's 88 movement. So this is basically going there. And that'll do. And that is my go done. So I didn't run the deck down at all, which is what I said I was going to do. Right, competition's turn. Tau Seti. Um, so it's already got that. So it builds bases. Does it build a colony as well? All explore boxes contain discovery tiles. The science explore cost is seven or ten. Uh, sorry, four or seven. It places bases and then a colony. So it does. So two bases. So we have a secure site there, which I think it can do. I don't think there's any restriction on where a secure site can go. No, nope, there isn't. So if you have fewer secure bases in play than the competition, no, because all my bases are secure. Um, and then it gets another secure site there. And then it builds a colony. So the colony it builds is colony number four, which uh, four is not in. So it goes to three or five. Ah, this is where the rule comes in. So three or five, it goes to three because that's the lower one. 
So it builds that one, uh, and that's worth four pips. So one, two, three, four. So it doesn't need to make colony points, it just literally gets the colony number that's printed on there. Okay. Uh, right, well, I think that's it. So back to me, that moves down to there. What am I going to do? Do I bother producing? I mean, it's two points. It, it's, it's hardly worth it. Uh, I mean, that's P2. I could produce on there as well if I had produced two. So go on, let's, let's do that. Let's just play these two cards. So that's produce two, which allows me to produce at two places. I'll produce there and there, which gets me four points. One, two, three, four. And then I have not my cards, so I draw a new one. Competition's turn, all offers get replaced, and there's none of them there, so that goes. That's actually okay for me, because I want this game to, to speed up. One, two, three, four. Okay, back to me, that moves one closer. Do I have any produce cards? No. Do I want to do some movement? Uh, can I be looking at building some other base somewhere? I mean, what movement did I have? 11, 44, 88. I had 88 movement. So, yeah, I mean, I could do all sorts of stuff. Um, we could potentially go here. So, yeah, let's go here. Start exploring that. Right. Done. Draw a card. Competitions go. Uh, La Ciel 9352 is there. My go, that moves one closer. Do I have Explore 7? Yes. So I play this for Explore 2, plus Explore 2, double, to ex that gives me 8, and at the end of my turn, that goes on there. So I have Explore 8. Uh, where was I exploring? Here. So we need a primary and a secondary. Primary is Abundant Life, which is one point, and a Genetics. And the secondary is Oceans, which is one genetics and a colony point. Oh, and that's a colony point as well. Right. Definitely building another colony there. Competition's turn. Wolf 1061. I keep forgetting where these places are. It's down here, isn't it? Yes. So what does it do? It has an explore value of seven, so it explores. It gets abundant life and asteroid fields. So it gets one point for that. Let's just check again. Has a team present, no base. Explore boxes are empty. Sites cost is seven or ten. It places discovery tiles. Right, yeah. Got that right. My go, uh, build bases. It's going to cost me eight, twelve. Twelve to build a base up there. I have seven, twelve. Yep, there you go. There's twelve. Built a base. What we're going to build? Well, one of them is going to be industrial, obviously, which can go on water. And then the other one, ooh, abundant life. There's a bio symbol on it, which means I can build a bio lab. Um, and if I build a bio lab, my genetics marker moves one. Yep, let's do that. So I build a bio lab on there. My genetics marker moves one, which means I get another adaptation. Uh, what don't I have? <laughs> Um, hybrids, and if you build a base on a primary tile, oh, that's quite nice. Um, doesn't really matter at this stage, I think, go on, let's have this adaptation. Hybrids, I've never had that one before. Uh, so that's my build done, I'm going to build a colony there next turn. Uh, Right, ET, enviro tolerance, so the mice get enviro tolerant, and then all offers get replenished. Are there any of those in there? Yes, there is a revelation card in there, so it loses one profit. Interesting. But yeah, we don't mind that. We don't mind these offers being destroyed when I I'm trying to empty the deck. Right, my go, I build a colony. Colony points are one for that, two for that, three for that. Four, because there's an industrial one there. Five, because there's two things there. So I'm at, I'm at five. Um, so I think I'm going to build this one. I'm going to build this colony, which means at the end of the era, I basically get one of them that isn't done. Um, yeah, that's that. And now that I've got... A co oh, and I got an extra point because there's a colony in an adjacent region. So I could have had... 
I could have had that one. Go on, let's go for that one instead. So whenever you colonise, including this one, gain profit equal to the number of colonies you control. And I control one, two, three. So that's an immediate three points. And if I build another colony, that'll be four points. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So we might we might do that. Um, so that's me building a colony done. Uh, but yeah, now that I've got a colony here, I can leave. I just need 120 movement, which I have. Competitions go. Groombridge 1618 is over here. Uh, oh, this should have been moving down. Completely forgot about this one. Let's say it's there, because I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, so it builds bases. All explore boxes contain discovery tiles. The site's explore cost is seven. So it places bases and then a colony. Right, so two more bases. I've just heard a van arrive as well, so the door might go. Uh, Biolab on the precious dust, which it doesn't match, so it doesn't get a bonus. Um, on the alien outpost, it builds another Biolab, doesn't get the bonus. And then it builds colony number seven. Seven is not there, so the closest one is five or nine. Five is lower, so it builds that one, which is the one I was planning to build. Um, that goes back to Sol, that gets removed. Okay, so on my go, I think, let's just leave to the Orion Spur. So I need 120 movement. I have 6, 11, 44, 88. Yeah, I mean, I can do it. It's just, it's just how we want to do it. Because um, there's so many different ways of doing it. But yeah, let's just let's just play that one. Let's just triple it, oh, triple it even further. So this is gone. That is now at the Orion Spur. So you can only leave if you've got a colony in an adjacent uh, adjacent region, which I have. I then have four cards or fewer. So that goes there. Competitions go. Sixty-one Signy. Uh, what's it doing at sixty-one Signy? I have bases there, so it doesn't do anything. Yeah, doesn't do anything at all. Um, Right, on my go, I think we just want to end it. I just need to get through these cards. So I'm just going to research. I'm going to take two cards. There you go. See what we get. Competitions go. Uh, La Salle 8760 is here. So explore value of seven. So it builds bases and then a colony. It's going to be colony number six. So we have an exploiter there which doesn't get it any bonus, I don't think. Uh, exploiters, uh, yeah, if the discovery tile has a P number, which it doesn't. And on the rings, so this is a bit swingy, this bit, you can get basically lucky, it should, yeah, it should probably have a bit more intelligence of which bases it builds where. Spaceport, it can build that. If it has a colony in a region that is adjacent to the Orion Spur, it does. Here. Place a competition team at the Orion Spur and award the competition profit accordingly. Right, so it, it's gone. It gets two. I'm going to do my five now because I'll probably forget. Uh, right, my go. I mean, I've got... What have I got? I've only got three... I've, got, I've only got bases in three regions. Bases in four non-adjacent regions. No. Colonies with at least 16 value. Oh, have I got that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Not quite, but if I get one more colony, I get that. But where can I build a colony? Uh, nowhere, really, because I, I, I'm not anywhere. Nah, I guess I'm here. So let's do that. I'm going to move. I've got loads of movement here, but I'm literally just going to throw these cards away for extra movement so that I draw a new one at the end of my turn. And that goes there. Right, competitions go. Uh, Capitaine's Star. Where's that? Where's that? Uh, it's up there. Nothing happens because I've got bases there. My go. That moves down one. Uh, I then choose to... What, what am I doing at this point? <laughs> am I actually doing anything? Do I want to move this one? Where can this go? I guess it could go down here. 
but the game's going to be over by the time by the time it gets anywhere now so yeah I don't know we'll just move this to here done competitions go Wolf 1061 which is here yeah okay so I should have ended it so it places bases So on the Abundant Life, we have Industrial, which it can do. So place competition team at an unoccupied site in the same, in the nearby region. No, otherwise it gains one, gains a profit. And on the Asteroid Field, it builds a Biolab, no match bonus there. And then it builds a colony, it's colony number six. So it takes colony number nine. And it gets six points. Did I forget to give it points? for the previous colony that it built. I think I did. I think I forgot to give it those. So how many colonies has it built? That one, that one, and that one. Yeah, I think I forgot to give it four points for that. Go on, let's just give it four points. Uh, right, my go, that goes down there. That goes down there. Am I gonna hold off for one more turn? I think I am. Now here's a question, can I, can I move, explore, can I actually do anything? Do I have to choose an action? I'm not sure if I do. Because I can't do anything with that one. I can't do anything with that one. This one's been removed off, off the game. And that one's gone off to the Orion Spur. So I don't actually want to take an action. So there is a question. A very fundamental question. Do you have to take an action on your turn? Because I kind of don't want to. Because the only action I can take... Conduct an action. Decide which action you wish to conduct. Your choices include this. Hmm. Uh, I can't move, I can't explore, I can't build, I can't produce. Can I not produce? I can't produce. I can't genetics, I can't upgrade, and I can't special. Can I upgrade? No. So if I must do an action, then I must research. But actually, I can just take these. Oh, but it's still... Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll take those, which replenishes from here. Like so. Right. Competition's turn. Uh, Lumen 16. Uh, I already have a base there. So that gets discarded with no effect. That goes down to there. That goes down to there. I'm going to explore here, which I have enough explores. Get a primary discovery tile, which is an anomaly. Getting me two points. Oh, that should have gone over 50. Uh, as should that. There we go. Um, that's me done. Competitions go, Groombridge 34, goes there, my go, that goes down to here, so I could now build, no that, that can't do anything, that can just move again now, but I could build a base up there, it will cost me 10. Do I have 10 easily? So I've got 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and I'll build a base on the anomaly, uh, and what will it be? What can you build on an anomaly? Um, very little. Hmm. Um, oh, no, you can build, um, yeah, I can build an attraction. That's what I can build. If the, uh, if it's an anomaly and the discovery tile gains P2. There you go. I have built an attraction. Uh, competitions go. The highest even site. Oh, right, so now I need to look at sites. Highest even site, so number 12, where is number 12? Uh, no, number 14. Uh, yeah, number 14 is Epsilon Iridani, and it's already there. So I assume we go down to 12, which is this one? Yeah, but can't go there. What about number 10? Can't go there, number eight. Can't go there. Number six, can't go there. Uh, number four. Where's number four? I'm going blind. One, 11, 12, two, seven, three, 10, four. It's there. Right, okay. Uh, and it can do something there. 
Explore cost is four, so it places discovery tiles, then bases, then a colony. Wow, it does all of that. So it discovers, and it discovers a habitable planet for two profit. Uh, then it places a base. And it places a shield factory, which it's allowed to do because there's water there. So it has placed a shield factory where it's allowed to. The competition gains one unless you have the radiation resistant adaptation and or, yeah, I saw it doesn't, I'm fine. And then it builds a colony, which is colony number eight, which is this one, colony number one, and it gets four points. One, two, three, four. My go, I'm gonna build a colony there. Um, so I have uh, no colony points for that. I have one colony point for this. I'm gonna remove the team for another colony point, so that's two. I'm gonna use eight build points for colony points three. How many do I need? I need five. Can I get five? Oh, I don't know if I can actually get five. Oh, that's a pain. I mean, I could spend five points to get the extra one, but no, I'm only at three, aren't I? No, 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 no. One, two, three. Yeah, I can't do it. So I won't bother building a colony. Um, instead, I'll just play this, produce two and produce on two sites. I'll produce on that one and that one, both of which are P2. One, two, three, four. I get a new card. Competition gets a card. Uh, Gliese one. Where is that? Not come across that yet, and everything's been covered over. Oh, it's up there. Nothing happens. Right, on my go, uh, I'm just gonna research and get two cards. There you go. Competitions go. Uh, the highest odd numbered site. <laughs> right, okay. So uh, where is it? There's 13. Um, so 13 is occupied, 9 is occupied. What about 11? Where's 11? Uh, 11 is occupied. We've done 9. Where's 7? There's 5. So it'll be 5 if nothing else. There's 7. 7 is occupied, so it's 5. Explore value of 4, so it gets the primary discovery. Habitable planet, two points. Then it places a base, which is a research base. What does it get if it places a research base? No requirements. If you have more profit than the competition, it gains one. And then it places a colony, and there's only one more colony to place, which is that one. Um, okay, and then on my go, is there absolutely anything that I can do without production cards? I don't have production cards. Um, I mean, I've got bases in four regions, but but those two are adjacent. So that's a, that's a shame. And I couldn't build that colony, which would have got me colony points worth at least 16. So it would have been worth it if I could have done it. In fact, has, has he done it? Where's his colonies? Here. One, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, he's got that. He's got colonies worth at least 16 in value, which is four points. One, two, three, four. And he's catching up. Has he got bases in four? Oh dear. Hang on a minute. <laughs> bases in four non adjacent regions. He's got that one. He's got that one. He's got that one. He's got that one. Oh, he's got bases everywhere. So he's done that as well. It's another three. Oops. Has he got bases in six regions? Here he has. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. I've been forgetting to do these. Sorry. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was all going to go wrong. So I think the game's probably over um, because I've done six of those. And then we do end of game scoring. Um, so yeah, end of game scoring. I think we do it for both of us, which means he's probably won. Yeah, after all that, I was so far ahead. Oh no, you, never the competition, gain additional profit. Yes, lols. Um, right, so I have three colonies on the board, I think. Uh, this is my area, and I've got a colony there. 
that's my area I've got a colony there. And I've got three colonies on the board, which is eight. So I did it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I ended with 103 against uh, 93. So if your total exceeds by 11 or more, no, I got 10 or more. So you win with a narrow lead with a, over a crowded market. Uh, and that is it. I probably made a ton of mistakes. So uh, hopefully the Klingon subtitles uh, will do that. Um, it was enjoyable. It took quite a long time to play, but I wanted to play it solo because I'm doing a review of this uh, probably tomorrow. Um, so yeah, if you've born with me, bed, bed with me all the way through, thank you very much for watching. As mentioned at the very start, uh, taking the time out to film this and edit this video is only possible through the support of my Patreon campaign. So if you enjoy my content uh, and you want to give me something for my birthday, which is today, well, probably not when this video goes out, then please consider supporting me over at patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.